Welcome back to the Rage. John is here. Um, I am once again postponing the Matt Powell thing because I can't decide how I want to do this final one. Um, and I'm thoroughly aggravated this morning, as you see, as you saw, if you saw my stream earlier, my little half an hour rage rant. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit. So instead, I decided to do uh, somewhat of an open room. I'm going to be selective. If I don't want to talk to you today, I'm not going to. Um, but that's only a few people um, for today. Um, but uh, if you want to come on and talk about some of the things that we're going to talk about today, um, the the link will be spamming in the side chat chat once the the bot kicks in and starts doing its thing. Um, but yeah, I want to see. I'm going to save the finale for uh, of this Matt Powell thing for after Christmas. Um, and I'm thinking of different ways. I was thinking about having everybody on that that was part of it. Um, but then I'm like, you know, cause we still got maybe like 15 minutes to go, something like that. Um, so that's, that would be like a five hour stream. Um, so I'm thinking maybe, um, allowing a couple people on at a time to do a little bit and then allowing other people that want to come on. Um, maybe not necessarily, um, you, so, you just had to have been in the in the previous shows. Maybe anybody that wants to come on for a few minutes, two at a time, will do something like that. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to push that back and instead talk about things that I've been thinking about um, um, off and on, just kind of in the back of my mind. Sometimes as I'm laying down to go to bed, the direction that I want to take the channel, um, think I, think out loud for once with John and do it. Why not do it live on the spot? instead of uh, talking to him privately and discussing it privately. Uh, but we did talk a little bit about the things that I'm going to talk about. But um, So, yeah, uh, John is here. I'll throw it over to John. We'll start – me and John is going to start off by talking about this – a uh, little bit about what happened this morning and TOG and threatening to strike the channel and all of that shit. Um, but then I want to move the direction towards, like, what I want to do next year and, and kind of the direction that I want to take – um and and stuff like that so if you're interested in coming on and having a conversation around that feel free to come on um but yeah what's up john hey how's it going um yeah uh, it, now it's happening again dude now it's ha yeah for some reason john's getting an echo um, i'm not getting an echo when i left it got better um and now he's saying it's uh i mean it's not really an echo it's that my voice yeah, and the delay is even bigger now. Coming up my speaker, like I'm hearing my words like three seconds late. Yeah, it's really weird because I don't like again. Uh, and we were talking about this before. Now we're live, and yeah, that really sucks. Maybe I'll have to leave uh, and come back, and maybe that'll help John. But uh, I don't. I, I use my headphones, so I don't understand speaker issues. So I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna come back. It should. Well, I. I so, Man, I don't think you can leave. It'll end if you leave. It's not going to end. It's just you won't be showing. So what I'm going to do here is uh, let's put it over to an off-camera scene. So sorry, audience, but for some reason, John is getting an echo. We're going to see if we can fix it. If not, you might just have to deal with it, John. Um, so let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that that's a good little preview right there. Of um, And I'm going to leave real quick, John. I'll be right back. That's a little preview right there of a video coming out soon um, called The Long Lost Daddy or Smokey Saints Long Lost Daddy. Let me get back into StreamYard. All right. We're going to hope this helps, John. All right, John, are you still getting an echo? Hello, hello. Are you still getting an echo? Nope. All right, so that helped. I mean, yeah, I mean, it wasn't really an echo. It was just like coming out of my speaker like a few seconds after mm. I talked. This helps, John. I, I, hear you, I hear you playback. All right. Um, All right, I had my phone turned up while you were gone just to see. We, what need, to get, we need to get you some headphones, my dude. <laughs> No, I've got headphones. I I just have never used them because just... I don't understand. Like if if I don't use headphones, then there's an echo. 
when I stream, but you don't have that problem. Hmm. That's really weird. Yeah, no, I've never used them. I mean, because of the, I guess it's the setup. It doesn't, the sound that I get from us streaming doesn't go back through the mic for some reason. All right, well, it's working now, so it, it seems like these tech gremlins always uh, start always happen nowadays. But um, so you can hear, um, we already have the the triggering in the chat. So um, yeah, I, I was a little mad this morning, and I used this. Uh, I guess what would be considered a bad example, although I did ask Tog about it um, when I was on his channel this morning, and these Christians are focusing on that because they're so outraged that I'm calling Tog the fucking hypocrite that he is. Um, but so they're focusing on this one little part because when I showed that Tog has my streams on his channel and I asked him about it and he said that there was commentary. Um, and I'm like, no, there's not commentary. Um, the hypocritical aspect of that is that he does the same shit. You know, yeah, I understand you can put that on your playlist. He didn't upload it onto his channel, but he uses it. He's putting my shit all, all over his fucking channel and not just my shit. A lot of people's shit. And... The point of it being is he's given me permission to use his shit. Um, outside of, if you go on somebody's stream, you can mirror the shit. I mean, it's just, it's never been a fucking issue. I've never had, ever, woken up to somebody threatening to copy strike me over me being in their stream and using that material. Never. Jill, all the time, all the time, fucking all the time uploads if he comes on my channel he mirrors it he uploads it doesn't put nothing into it i have never once considered giving him a strike the point being was he does the shit the same shit now i fully understand now because you know he's dishonest and vindictive that i need to follow the rules exactly you know, I forgot. You can't can't break the rules ever, John. You can't break the rules ever. Not even with people that tell you you can. This is like when me and Smokey Saint had this conversation. He was like, "Why do you why do you follow the guidelines of fair use so so well?" And I'm like, "Because I can't trust you, fucking Christians." This is it, it played out in real life here. So I deleted the fucking video. I'll play by the fucking rules. And now I just see Tog for what he is. Never in a million years when I made that video did I think I would wake up with threats of a copyright strike. Never in a million years. But yes, I was a little angry this morning. I used a bad example. Fuck y'all. It happens. Kiss my ass. All of you can suck my dick. You know, one of the people in the side chat talking about this shit, Mr. Lizard, you was in that side chat in Smokey Saint stream. You didn't speak up either, coward. Coward. You didn't speak up either. You was just more, you wanted to go and have your little thing with Nicholas. You didn't give two fucks about uh, Smokey Saint saying the shit he was saying. So you can go fuck yourself with your self-righteous little ass. I said it. What up, John? <laughs> I'm a little angry. I, mean, I, I, I don't even see, did you, did you erase your stream from this morning too? No, no, it's, it's on the Raging Atheist playlist. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. It should still it's be. Not in the, well, I just looked at the video. Yeah, it's called the, the Raging Atheist playlist. It's Christian hypocrites. Tired of these Christian ass hypocrites. Tired of them. You know, I deleted that video. You know what? I might even remake it. I might even remake that video. And you know what my commentary is going to be, John? You know what my commentary is going to be? What's that? It's going to be Tog is a hypocrite. I'm going to just stop it every once in a while. And I'm going to say, this one guy is a fucking hypocrite, and then I'm going to play it again. That's going to be my commentary. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely transformative, so. <laughs> Told you, I'm not, I'll think about bringing you in. I'm not too sure if I want to argue with Christians this morning. Um, I want to talk about atheists. <sighs> yeah, he says, uh, I don't know, he's saying he never made a threat. That's funny. That's funny. Um, that's cool. the only that's really the question. That's really funny. But all right. But I want to talk about uh, this channel today. Maybe I'll uh, argue with Mr. Lizard today. Maybe I won't. I'm not too keen on that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. 
Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure if that would be very productive right now. I'll, you know, John, if you want to bring him in, you can. I'm, I, I usually don't run away from conversations, so we might bring him in. I'm not sure how productive it will be today. I'm very angry. Um, well, then just sit back for a minute. So what's up, Mister? Hello Wayne? there. Hello. So I heard you talk about me <laughs> in regards to the whole smoky thing. It's like. In regards to the whole Nicholas thing, I was only after Nicholas for the Mandora claim that he made that he couldn't back up. As for Smokey, I've called him out many times, not on that channel, and I'm not even subscribed to him. That's like the first time I've been back to his channel for a long time. Simple enough. Hey, knock, you with have Smokey, I do, I do call him out. And I do say that some of the stuff he says is just straight up stupid, including within regards to now, Kasuchi and backed um, on one of Tonk's streams when P. Mars was just spitting out his nonsense. I was actually trying to counter what he said for the most part and saying that Smokey is just making all kinds of stupid assumptions and looking for the most stupid, for the most, in a sense, evil outcome he could come up with. Within particular that in particular screen, stream, I wasn't even paying attention to what Smokey was saying, nor did I care. Smokey's just an imbecile. Well, no argument out of me. Um, but so, you know, just to uh, to answer to, you know, Nakasuji's specific uh, beef that he uh, elucidated a few moments ago, he said that you were in the chat or something during, uh, you know, when, Sm when Smokey was making his dumbass comments about, Knox X and that situation. Like, did you have anything yeah, to say? So, like I said, I have not on that stream in particular, but I have before call, said that Smokey's claims are just stupid and dumb, and he's only going for, like I said, the most stupid, like the most evil out claim he can make. It's like, it's like he doesn't even try to consider any different kinds of possibilities. Like, I came up with the possibilities, like, well, maybe at one point she wasn't Christian and then she converted and now she's a Christian. That's just one outcome I came up with. He doesn't even try to do something like that. And I was using that to counter stupid PMRs. And it wasn't in that stream, but it was in one of the other streams that Rich jumped in for a couple minutes and hopped out of. It was Talk Stream, not Smokey's. As for the sm being on Smokey's channel, I've always on was only on there just to chase down Nicholas about the Mandora claim. It was actually a continuation from Jill Stream onto that channel. Because I knew that Nicholas would run to that channel after Jill's stream was up. So, I mean, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm very upset this morning. So I really don't care about any of that shit. It's, it, to me, it's um, childish and, and, and really just beyond reproach. Shows more of the character of anybody um, willing to uh, be a part of it than anything. Um, what I'm upset about this morning is just pure and simple, just fucking vindictive bullshit. Um, I put out that video last night. I made it two weeks ago, at least. It's been on my Patreon for two weeks. Um, it's the one moment where... I personally was going to confront Smokey Saint, and I wasn't going to do it in with any regards of whose channel I was on. Um, me and John had just stopped streaming about the situation, and I happened to see that Smokey Saint was going on talks. I showed. As in regards, to I, I showed sorry. the incident. I showed the incident that um, between me and and Smokey Saint. Smokey Saint calling it an emotional reaction, and it was. It was an emotional reaction. Um, but I showed it in its entirety. I didn't add any commentary. I didn't feel the need that I needed to. Um, now, I, I'm not sure. I'm fairly certain a couple times live on stream. I, I've been told on Tog's channel that I can use the, con the content of those open rooms. Um, I think it's happened live, and I could go through hours of content to fucking find it. Um, I know it's happened privately, but it's never happened on paper like I have with the Smoky Saint. 
So he, I guess he's claiming now that he never made a threat. He just asked a question, whatever. I, I woke up to messages from people that I trust telling me that, I, that um, there's this threat of a copy strike against my channel. And I was upset. And I used a very bad example in the video. Yes, I understood. I seen the rage there. But I was just showing. Because I went into his room this morning. You was there. And I asked, <laughs> you know, you have shit on your channel of me. You know, sure, what I did without permission is against the rules of YouTube and against the rules of fair use. Again, I felt like I had permission. I found out this morning I didn't. Um, but never would have, would have, never, like, this is just something like, you know, I don't even, I shouldn't even have to tell people that come into my open rooms if they want to mirror their parts of those conversations that they can. I, I shouldn't have to tell people, and I usually don't have to tell people, if I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, that they can mirror that on their channel. That's just the way this thing works. It's how we operate. So for me to wake up this morning to either a threat or just a speculation of a copyright strike for me using material that I felt like I had a perfectly reasonable reason to be using that material, well, to me, that's just a little bit of butthurt from a couple days ago calling out this shit of Christians not having the fucking integrity to make a stand against Smokey Saint. So I'm trying to be very pleasant. I'll let you talk. I'll mute up again. I'll let you speak. Um, but that's, that's my point of view on this. Um, especially at a moment in time where I am behind the scenes talking with several people about not, not, you know, not stop doing what I do, but really metamorphosis this channel into something that's going to focus on atheist and, and, and the struggles that we go through as opposed to focusing on individual Christians and their dumb shittery. Um, also coming a couple of days, uh, before Christmas and I'm very fucking stressed out. Um, but I'll let you speak and I'll mute up and, and, uh, I won't interrupt. <clears throat> okay. So with in regards to, um, the whole tar thing and all that, one thing I would say with in regards to that, I ain't going to, in a sense, defend him. I'm just going to let, let it be up to him to whether or not choose to come in here and defend himself or anybody in this room or watching this, just go back to that video that he did today and look at the time before and see what the conversation was about. I wasn't trying to, like, you know, make a threat of striking the channel, but he was talking about some some kind of, you know, weird things. But regardless, I would say it would be up to him to defend himself. That's not my, that's not my, you know, position to make to defend him. And even within regards to it, even I and others were saying, eh, you need to make sure you actually have good ground to stand on regardless. And point, pointing out things that would not qualify at all. And simple enough, I think part of it is a bit of a misunderstanding, Tog, and that Tog and you should clear up, as well as, I can understand waking up and just seeing all this stuff and hearing about claims of a threat to strike your channel. I can understand how that will get you riled up. That's understandable. That would rile anybody up. And that's all. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't lose my shit because I am, you know, I, I um, yeah, and this is something that I'm going to be talking about today and, and um, something that I, I, I want to hear from uh, other atheists about um, is the fact that I, um, I've allowed, um, uh, I've, I've allowed my OCD, or, or what's the best way of putting this? Because I've been thinking about this really for a while. Um, so I was very staunchly anti-theist for a long time. I made a, I made about, I don't know, a year's worth of videos, never, never live streamed, never did any of that. Talked about it a lot of times, didn't know there was a live streaming community, didn't much understand YouTube, um, only watched a couple a atheists. Um, and they made edited videos. So <clears throat> I was very anti-theist. And I started live streaming. I started talking to people. I found a community of atheists. And they were a lot more open than I was um, uh, when it comes to religious people. <clears throat> and I allowed that to kind of affect me for a while. You know, because in my life, religious people have always just fucked me. I mean... You know, you have family that tell you your whole life that they love you unconditionally. And then 
you find out that there is that one condition because the moment that you don't believe in the God that they believe in, um, that shit's out the door. Um, you know, so I opened up. I allowed certain theists to kind of get through my little walls that I had, my little self-defense mechanisms that I had. Um, at first, you know, Christians of a different elk, this one guy being one of them, Richard Madsen, um, you know, the messenger reveals just Christians of a different elk that weren't so goddamn judgmental of everybody else. All right, I'll let you in a little bit. Then it happened with pagans, and I, I, I let a couple of them in a lot. And that shit went to hell. And the same shit happened. And my anger came back. And I've been angry ever since. And I've been focusing on Smokey Saint. And Smokey Saint, like, kind of reared his head at that perfect time. After all that shit with the pagans happened. That now I could have a focal point of my, my, my anger. And I think that that has made me um, somewhat sick mentally over the last several months. Um, I haven't been happy. I haven't been, uh, I've talked about it. I've been burnt out. Um, I allowed my OCD to just run rampant. Um, putting together the playlist on Smokey Saint, and you see, you know, this happened over a course of, what, three to four months, and I have 47 different things on this one person. Um, it's really time to start looking at what I'm doing here. Is this healthy for me anymore? Um, and while I enjoy the confrontations, or <laughs> Um, I enjoy them in, in spurts and I don't want it to be an all the time thing. And I'm not sure who this Sam is. We're going to assume yeah, who is Sam. we're going to assume it's a Sam we like, <laughs> uh, we will be on guard, uh, um, for any porn bombing, John. Um, but, um, so hey, what's up, Rage? How are you doing? No, oh, pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not. I'm not sure which Sam. Sam, I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm talking to Thick Shades. All right. I'm not sure. Uh, my memory's shit. Um, but welcome. As long as you're not gonna porn bomb, we're good. Um, <laughs> uh, porn bomb. I uh, yeah, got no porn for, porn for you. It's just uh, oh, it's something mean, people it's, are doing nowadays. You are. You've been on YouTube and uh, for a couple of years, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Four years. Four years and, total, uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I talked to you, like, long before. Uh, and, yeah, you sound kind of familiar. I, I kind of recognize your voice, yeah. Well, you know, I didn't really talk to you personally, but I was in the comment section. Oh, all right, I got you. Yeah. But uh, if Thick Shades would ring any bell, that's fine. But it's, it's okay. It doesn't matter. But, yeah. I, you know, I kind of like where you're going. So keep it up. Oh yeah, I appreciate it. So yeah, um, so so essentially, it's you know I'm looking at this. I've been talking to um, several people behind the scenes. Um, John's kind of hearing for, for the first time, but I think he's kind of maybe felt, you know, just by the way I've kind of shut down. Like I don't want to do smoking anymore. I don't want to cover these live streams all the time anymore. So I think he's kind of got the the gist of it. But you know, I've just been thinking like what am i doing here is this is this productive and i think to a point it has been very productive um i think it's been uh especially productive the last six months i felt like the channel's really come back to what it was what it started as but i it, i think i don't think that it's productive for me personally mentally to continue doing the things that i've been doing and focusing on these individuals that are very very atrocious right so um, I'm I'm closing out this this chapter, and I'm thinking about all of these things as as all of this drama is just perpetuating. And and of course, you know, I'm a uh, I'm very pragmatic. I look at the numbers. I see that people really love the drama, um, and I honestly don't mind doing it. Uh, it's something like I, I've often talked about it in the in the midst of it. It 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 feels very gratifying to me sometimes, and it stems from all of that old angers from the past. I'm able to get out of that. It's very therapeutic. Um, but moving forward with the channel, I, I'm really wanting to focus on atheism and focus on coming out of atheism, it's stuff that I focused on a little bit in the past while still doing the things and being the bulldog I've always been, but just being a be better representative. Now, with all of that being said, um, 
I just I, I keep getting reminded um, of of the fight here, and that fight is that we are two sides that live in vastly different worlds. We see things vastly different. Um, and one of those sides, now whether some Christians are going to come on and, and, and try to rationalize or justify the things that's, that's in the Bible, but one of those sides have a Bible that justifies and rationalizes the murdering of people like me. And it's time to start seeing this as a war again. That's just, that's my personal opinion. And I've been telling John this for a while because I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of waking up and being dis disappointed by these fucking Christians. Or these people that, that I shouldn't have to fucking worry about this one guy even considering throwing a strike on my channel for me using footage of me confronting the motherfucker that said the things he said about the mother of my child. Shouldn't have to even consider that. But yet, here I am again, once again, regretting letting a theist through those walls. So that's where I'm at today. I'm very aggravated. Um, I'm trying not to take it out on any one particular person. But it's just a, a very long progression now of these theists who like to say that they get their morality from their God. Just being a one let down after another. And I'm tired of that. Well, a smoky, <laughs> a smoky online lord. You know, I've been here for uh, over a decade, but um, you know, I don't know. For me, in my opinion, smoky is just a babe. You know how babes are. You know, they just throw a tantrum and puke and, and things like that. Crap. Uh, when yeah. you are mature in Christ, you know, you can discern what's you know true and false. It's like, I don't know, it's like uh, whenever I see Smokey, it's like seeing him like a babe, you know, not even knowing, not being, not being able to discern what is true or false. So, I mean, you know, I, I, wouldn't, let, I wouldn't let him bother you, you know. I, I, maybe he has something on you, but hey, <laughs> what can I say other than he's a babe? You know, well, you know how babes are. Yeah, and it, 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 Smokey doesn't really bother me because Smokey's Smokey. And, and I, I, I 100% think Smokey Saint's a Poe. I, I don't even think he's like a real Christian. I think he has an agenda, and he thinks that this is what's going to, I don't know, make him break out in the world of YouTube to where maybe he doesn't have to work anymore. I don't know. Um, but well, I don't, I don't, know, I don't think he's like a Christian that really believes in it. But, like, you know... I do have Christians in my life and, and, and you know, my family hates it when I go live talking about family shit and Smokey will, <laughs> Smokey will sit over there and be like, you know, this, this it, no, it's all bullshit. But like the, they literally, you know, pretend to be these great people. Um, and they talk about unconditional love. They have my whole life where family, family, blood he, is thicker than like, water, you know, but they, they, but... you know, the moment that I became an atheist, that changed, and it's because that I don't believe in that God anymore. So automatically, their indoctrination places me as an enemy, and I'm not. I'm not their cousin anymore. I'm not their nephew anymore. I'm not. Um, I'm not what oh, I yeah, was I, before. I got, I got, you know, yeah. I'm just not. So, and, and I think that that's that's the thing. Like when we're trying to be too moderate, when we're trying to be like just really accepting, and I've made this mistake time and time and time again. Christians just aren't accepting of us. Um, we're we're really. We're, we're playing well, a game, you know, but we're not gotta, playing by, by the same rules. Race, you know, like different, there are different rays and different range of like people, including atheists or Christians. What I'm just, just trying to say is that Smokey is just a babe. Yeah, well, I get that. Yeah. You can, yeah, you know, it's not, it's kind of, it would be prudent to judge him as a Christian. Uh, and he would be representing all the Christians, you know. So... Hey, I mean, again, if I were to say that, oh, this atheist is uh, in such a way, therefore ev every atheist in such a way, you know, that would be kind of like a premature. And also like, um, you know, it won't be good for me. And why would I uh, let myself uh, to be dictated by this one uh, particular individual? 
you know, that won't be wise. You know what I'm saying? What you know what I'm saying, Rage? Oh yeah, yeah, I get that, and that's why, like, you know, um, I I just don't think that this has been very mentally healthy for me, um, and especially it it, it 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 couldn't have been for Smokey because now he's resorted to the level that he's resorted to. Um, and yeah, I totally get that. Like over the last six months, um, since the shit with Ali happened, uh, you know, I have been I, noticeably seeing myself go more and more back to the, um, staunch anti-theism of before. And I understand, you know, I, I understand psychology. I, I understand my psychology and I understand that these are all reactions that I'm having and that they're perfect, perfectly sound defense reactions that human beings are going to have but i can't help it um and when it continues to happen just over and over and over again it's it's why be accepting of those that that just aren't willing to be accepting of us and outside of that um i've tried to fight against it um several times now the one christian that i i've really felt a connection with um is that christian vlogger justin um and he's the one christian that's really been able to that hasn't broken that bond yet that that hasn't been that disappointment yet and so so if i need to kind of reel myself back into the middle i go to his channel i watch our interactions i talk to the people there in his comment section um i reach out to justin himself um so i've tried to to stimmy this this what i've been feeling these last few months well, like for example like if he were to disappoint you like justin i don't know him but if he's going to disappoint you are you going to lose faith well i mean, I, I don't he, have faith so so like when i talk about that when i talk about disappointment I, i'm just like just straight up just just be non-human with me um just like like this morning you know waking up just through your anger just just being completely fucking petty um because human beings are going to disappoint you. Um, I'm sure I've dis disappointed John several times. Um, you know, right now uh, we have a disagreement. John doesn't think I should talk to Matt Powell again, especially not face to face live. Yeah, and we just have a disagreement. I'm sure that I uh, disappointed him when I refused to listen to um, reason on it. Um, but that's going to happen. That's going to happen with human beings. So I'm not. I'm not expecting anything untoward. It's just. Um, you just get fed up with it. And I want to focus on, and, and what I've always felt the best about the work, the, the work that I've done here that I felt the best about was when well, I, you know, when I, I was speaking I mean, to like new atheists, right. when I, people leaving religion, um, and talking to Christian interlocutors like yourself or even Mr. Lizard, um, but Christian interlocutors that are going to be much more serious and want to have very focused discussions and not, not very broad ranging discussions. So we can save those for the open rooms, whatever. But, um, I don't want to be focused on personal life who, or, or, I mean, or what thing, I am bro. as an atheist or who, who, any of that. Who really cares? Who really cares if you are made free in Christ? Who cares who, you know, if you're, if anyone trying to, slave you enslave you in any way i you know what i'm getting you is like oh because of this guy you know i'm acting this way oh, no. you are still bound i don't understand how way. wait a minute hold on a second sam i don't understand why why would you respond in that fashion i don't get it yeah, i mean I i'm not you try to I'm well not, you know the reason okay, why I just, hold on um, let me finish my statement yeah you're saying if you're free in christ why, why do you think that that has any probative value with what uh, Nakasuchi is talking about right now? He's not obviously not free. Well, because well, he doesn't. Answer your well, hold question. On. He's obviously not free in Christ because he doesn't believe Christ is the Son of God. He doesn't believe God exists. So I'm not. Well, sure. I understand. I said if, right? I said if. So uh, as long as you are still bound, you will not be free. You will not be truly free. If you are truly free in Christ, if you are made free in Christ, those things will not bother you much. You know, I mean, I understand that you let yourself bother, that you are enslaved by those talks or whatever, smoky or, and things like that. But when you are made free in Christ, those things don't really matter, does it? 
Well, I mean, maybe not. Yeah, no, I think what you just said, I think what you just said is one hundred percent pure fucking bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I well, yeah, I well, don't understand it. Right, I mean, you're being a you know? you're being a nice guy and everything. I mean, I'm not trying to badmouth you as a person. I understand the words that just came out of your mouth are horse shit. Okay, it has nothing to do. Well, with I understand well, that you want to like degrade me saying that whatever well, I say is a whole well. No, shit, so but this actually. Up, well, so here I'll, I will a little bit. So, so th- this is actually exactly what I'm speaking about here. So it, it, it's it's the near impossibility of a true believer or a Christian, a, a person that believes in Jesus Christ, to do an inner critique of my position as a as an agnostic atheist. Um, so, like when you make those comments, yeah, you're you're, you're making those comments as a Christian. Um, unable to see that you know i'm gonna go a step further like i don't even not think that jesus christ was not a god i'm not even sure if he existed you know so it's impossible for for a christian to truly even understand where i'm coming from as an atheist there's always a timing for everyone I'm just saying that when and if you get a timing for everyone to find part. Jesus. I mean that for me that was 20 years ago, or actually I, it, that was no, that, that would be roughly about else. 35 years ago when they were when, when they were trying to push that onto me as a child, um, and definitely nobody can push anyone. Otherwise, if anyone push you and to be you be you're saved, then he would be God. Nobody can do that. There's always a timing for an individual. It, there is a timing for you too, Rage. Mm. No, I don't. I'm just saying that you know, I you know, I don't think that it's wise to let yourself bother. You just be patient. Well, that that's that's. I I am actually in agreement there. I think it's been very um, unhealthy for my mentality to focus on these individuals as I have instead of focus on Christianity as a whole. Um, You know, I got. I used to feel like I was getting in trouble. Um, for painting with a broad brush. Um, now I see that I feel, I, I feel the need to, um, and I, I feel the need to, to embrace, you know, my staunch anti-theism again, because I see, I, I honestly see no reason that there can even be an honest discussion. Now, there can be a civil discussion like we're having here right now, um, but not an honest one. If you're making yourself anti-theist, anti-God, because certain individual, you are making well, no, that individual because as a God. It's, no, not because of certain in- individuals. Because those certain individuals are just a vast reflection of the whole, right? You here, you're, you seem like a nice dude, right? Like, you seem like a nice dude, but you, you, cannot, you. you cannot see from the standpoint. Like, you have to come from that Jesus perspective. Um, no, it's not, that's not where I'm coming from. I'm trying to come from your standard point of view and then telling you that, you know, don't let yourself bother by certain individuals. Well, we, we should be, though. So not, not being bothered well, by... If you, if well, you making here, other here's an example. Bothered, here, then I, you're making them as well, your God. Here, here's an example, right? So it doesn't sound like you're from America. Um, maybe you are. Well, I'm from Korea. All right. So, so here in America, you know, it, it became rude to talk politics or religion, right? Um, and, and especially like you know, you, you you don't confront your your staunchly conservative relatives saying all that crazy shit ten years ago. Well, as a result of that, we got Donald Trump. Um, I I, oh I highly I highly <laughs> highly disagree with the fact that that you can't allow. The, the dumb fuckery of others to bother you, especially when it's on a societal standard. Um, we cannot, we are two sides fighting a war about what society is going to be in the future. Now I won't be alive to see the end of that war, but it's time for us to start seeing it for what it is. It's a war because we're fighting for what we think society should be. And those are two very, very, very different things. Yeah, if I mean, that is I, true. The nuts, the nuts are worshiping that blobfish wearing a wig made out of gold, as the, as if it was a golden calf. But I want to um go ahead and say I'm go ahead and get, oh. get going. I came in here and spoke my yeah. piece already and yeah, all that. I, I do appreciate you coming yeah. on, and uh, I'm glad I didn't get all rage on you. Um, you know, you, you, you were pretty fair. <laughs> if Todd wants to come in and do what get the air, the air cleared up, he can come in. That's not. I saw, my issue, that's his issue with I, you. I saw he sent me a DM wait. on Twitter. I haven't read it yet. Maybe I will. Okay. And then final, final thing I'll say 
is that a quick little message for a particular one known as Smokey, and this is just a mess of him if he's watching this. Um, universal salvation is true. Get over it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Rage. I'm not here to make any uh, whatever contentions and stuff. And uh, all I'm saying is that, uh, you know, when you let yourself bothered by certain individual or people, you're making them as a control, you know, those who would control you, you know? It's, it is you. It, it's your life. No, you know? I, I, I agree with that to an extent. I really do. I'm not sure who that is. That's, uh... If someone's going to flag you, then flag me. I've been flagged. I've been, my tra- channels have been terminated for like several times. But who cares? I'm always back. I'm always here. Well, again, it's, it's, it's um, more of a matter of allowing... Uh, allowing people to get to you like that and that you're right that's my fault um and well, when, when it fault. when it comes I mean, to like the people when, when it comes to like you know focusing on individuals i i totally agree i don't think that it's mentally healthy um especially because then i i bring the focus on them individually instead of on the religion that's bringing them to that um and that's what i want to get back to um and that's what i want to focus this channel on moving forward is is atheism and atheists and what what is our definition of of the world we want to live in because that's what's vastly different and that's what's at stake here um uh, if we allow if we allow a dictator to to slip us back to theocracy then blasphemy laws become a thing again and heresy laws become a thing again and people like me have to go into hiding or we die um you know, if 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 they get their way here immediately in America, you know, women, you know, they're not going to have autonomy over their bodies and gay people aren't going to be able to get married again. Um, they're already trying to slip back towards that. It wasn't that long ago here in America that Christians were burning people like me at the stake and calling them witches. Um, so, yeah, I I. I I, I made the mistake of trying to be too fucking open-minded here. Um, the, the raging atheist became um, uh, the, the the mildly aggravated atheist. Um, <laughs> when, when in actuality, the war hasn't been won. Um, society is is at stake, and, and it's time that me and other atheists realize it. And I want to I want to provide a, a place for 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 atheists. Or even theists that think likely, but allowing a theist in, no, I'm not going to be disappointed no more. Um, even Justin, like, like even that Christian blogger, I, I I can't trust him. You know, we we have two very different standards of what this world should look like. Yeah, I I, I don't know who that uh, Justin is, and and frankly, I don't uh, I don't know who Smokey is until he called me Thicky, but whatever it is. Um, Hey, here's the thing, Rage. When you actually try to look for something profound outside, it is harder for you to get that in you. What do you mean outside? It, outside of God? Like, for example, like, you know, all because of him, or if it was him, then I would be in such a way. I don't think I've said I that, suggest- though. I mean, well, Smokey's, I the, Smokey's the way that he is. Um, he interjected himself into my life. I reacted the way that I did. Um, I came to the conclusion that it's not very mental, it's not mentally healthy for me. Um, and, and when I was going to go back on that, I had a friend like John Peterson convince me otherwise. Um, I, I don't Smokey think that, he's a babe. He's, he, he's a babe, but he's he, how, uh, he. So you say that, but. What is he saying um, that most Christians don't agree with? Well, like, for example, he, he's throwing tantrum. Yeah, but a lot of Christians throw tantrums. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, but there's a sm- different range of, like... I've had, wor- I've I've had Christians tell... Christian I've had many Christians, many, many, many Christians tell me far worse stuff than Smokey Saint has ever said. Smokey just talked about somebody, <laughs> you know, that he doesn't know. I've had Christians, you know... Tell me they want to kill my child so she doesn't go to hell. I've had Christians call me reprobate. I've had Christians call me all types of names. Um, 
all, all horrible, horrible things. But um, they're not God, are they? No, no, they're not. No, but right. Nobody's God. So it's, it's not important. Even. God's not important. Well, God never told you any of those. Right, because God doesn't exist. How do you know? That's just my belief. Well, I'm sorry, I don't share your belief. Though. God. Show me a God. How can I show something non-physical? I, I can show you oxygen. Oxygen, you can actually observe. Right. CO2 and O2, you can actually observe. Wait a minute, but, but something, God's all powerful. Something non-physical, how powerful. can you, like... God's all powerful. I mean, if you have a method, you, like, for example, minute. if God, if God if you is have a method to actually observe... God is things, all powerful, then I can actually show you God as you person? wish. But how can you show <laughs> something non-physical, Dude. such as God? All right, so you're one of them fuckheads that doesn't know when to shut up, right? So you're muted now. Um, look, if God is all powerful... Shouldn't he be able to make it so we can observe him? You are living. He already made that proof. The <laughs> fact that you are breathing, the fact that you have life, is actually proof of God. No, no, no it's not. It's proof, not of, it's proof of life. Why is that not? It's proof of life. The, fact that, the fact that you have that living soul well, we have, we have actually joiners. proves that proof of God. John. Yeah, that's just a claim on, on your part. It's not proof. Is your 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 existence is that very proof? No, not at all. Are you saying you're not existing? That's just a claim. On, that's just a claim on your part. Are you saying that your existence is just a claim? I'm saying that you saying that my existence is proof of God is just a claim. Why? Well, May I interject real quick? Oh, hey, what's up, Todd? Hey, Sam. How you doing? Good. I just wanted to say that um, my video's done uploading. I just wanted to post the link in here. It explains everything. I have nothing to say, but the video says it all, and I'll just leave it at that. Take care, guys. I'm You're posting it in private chat. I don't have a link to post it in... I don't have a wrench to post it in the side chat, so I can't post it there, so I'm posting it in here. YouTube isn't letting people post links anymore. It does for me. I'm special, I guess. I don't know. I, I can mean, do it, it all the time. It, 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 have a wrench. it looks like it, but... Um, and it doesn't show in the chat. Yeah. You oh. get, if you have a wrench, it'll you post it and it'll show up, and then like if you refresh the page, it'll be gone. <gasps> that's that's crazy. Okay, but yeah, the the video says it all. I already see. it's what. <laughs> just watch it. You can watch it live if you want to. Just watch it live. Take care, guys. God bless you, Todd. Hey, what's up, Sydney? I haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Yeah, how around. are you doing? I'm doing very well. You're still an atheist? I'm a very strong atheist. Why? It's been like several years, man. Wait a minute. Why would you be an atheist, dude? The fact that you're alive proves God exists. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I'm convinced. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, what's the next subject? Thanks, Sam. You turned the phone to <laughs> So I'm just saying that why, I mean, all these several years, you're still breathing. I Thank have God. been I have been a very strong atheist, just like uh, the rage since okay. I was nine years have old. Have you been a strong atheist or anti-theist? I I, I don't think I'd would consider myself an anti-theist. I'm I'm mm-hmm. more of a strong atheist, and that's my position. I see. Well, you know, I I, I truly hope that you can find God one day. I'm a seven on the Dawkins scale. Um, <laughs> I think everybody who's been looking for God throughout uh, throughout human history has actually never found God. Yeah. I mean, and, and Sam, to, to respond to what you said a moment ago, I really hope you find a leprechaun someday. Well, a leprechaun is not your breath of life. Leprechaun will not give well, you Well, neither is God because existence is, a, is, a, is an absolute infinite. There's no pre-existence. Here's the thing. You know, you have a soul and body. They don't have a soul. If you're going to disagree with the soul, soul, then, prove, you know, I, I don't know how you can prove the difference. I've got two between souls, actually. The corpse yeah, prove to me I have a soul body. because I, I, don't be, I don't subscribe to this a soul concept. Are you saying that you're the same as the dead corpse? <laughs> the same as what? Dead corp. Are you saying that you are t- you are the same with the dead body? Uh, how, dead how, how, well, I'm I'm actually talking about the soul of a living body. So where do you get a dead about body out of that? Actual. If you're talking about actual component, what's the difference between you and the dead body? 
One is dead, one's alive. Uh, that's a right, big, so that's kind of a big difference. One has yeah, a so functioning brain. A living brain. Yeah, one has a heartbeat and, <laughs> and <no> blood. <laughs> right, so that's all that. The other one has let go and he's decomposed. By actually, the uh, the breath of so life. What is the me. difference between you and a decomposing dead body? That's what you're asking me, right? The life. All right, that's so I mean, sensible. yeah, I mean, you're clearly a dualist, but but again, like, so. You, you you need i think the question is um you know you believe that um consciousness is separated from the brain and that that constitutes the soul um and you just yeah so you just have to show that so that's right please well, you know, as much do. as your body is real your soul is real otherwise you know i mean how can i show you is the soul does the soul, soul exist in the real world or is the soul exist yeah i mean the fact the that you are alive kind of proves that you have a soul no it doesn't <laughs> no it doesn't not even a well word. then if you say that it doesn't then you got to actually prove that well where would the soul no, actually no, no, reside you get it are you saying no there's no use the statement you're making where you're would this soul, soul reside is it in every cell of your body or is it in one particular part of your Otherwise, brain right, right. I mean, so if you're speaking of any cell then you should actually distinguish the difference between your body and your, and your dead body is this distinction made in other animals do you believe that cats dogs squirrels have souls they're alive. Yeah, I mean, if they, yeah, of course, they have some sort of soul, don't they? I'd love to, to I'd love to see inside the soul of a crocodile. Soul is the breath of life, guys. But the breath of that's, life is given to humans. Uh, that's actually have a nonsensical not, claim. Have the breath of life, life is not, the no breath soul. of life is a, is an analogy that makes zero sense. Well, I'm sorry that you, does, you because, don't because uh, conception, conception, you can, which, you can appeal to whatever you not know all you want. Sam, but Sam, what I'm conception, telling you Sam, is that Sam. you know, hey, time to wake up. You hey, know, okay, your Sam, soul but conception. Is all right, Sam's muted. Go ahead, Sam, dude. Uh, so conception is a is a uh, sort of a coming together of a sperm and an egg. There's nothing. To, there's no breath. It's science. So what is offering that? Excuse me? Sydney, what is operating that? What is operating that life? The laws of life. What do you mean what's operating that life? <laughs> nature. I'm sorry, Sydney. Certainly no death can operate. Well, that nature life. nature works in ways that uh, nothing that you think about it will change it. So you have no explanation to life, do you? I don't need an explanation to life. Life of is. Of course you do. No, I don't. Yeah, life yeah. is. You can see that life is. I don't need I'll to right explain back. it. There we are. Here we are. <coughs> what do I have to explain? Yeah. Well, see, and even even if life requires a god, you then have to explain how it's your god, and and, and why he why he finds all of this crap so important. But we don't have to have an explanation for why life life got here. We are here. We can observe that life is here. Life, life is a thing. That's not up for question. The question is, um, how is this God that you yourself say, there's no way to even trace at all. You know, that's the so, question. Wait, the problem <laughs> is that if you lose your life, it's nothing. Why are you concentrating so much on life? When, when the existence of your non, your, your, uh, concept of God is irrational and impossible for that matter you because prove that statement. Uh, well there's no pre-existence so there's no need there's no well, necessity for god if the if existence is, is an absolute infinite why, why don't you let me finish one sentence no i just i'm just replying to you sydney you yeah i understand but let me finish my sentence before you reply i'm just letting you i'm just replying uh, you're sydney. just interrupting me yeah. I'm just replying. What are you talking about? I'll tell you what, Sam. This is what we'll do. Is uh, so Sydney wants to finish his statement. Um, whenever you're conversing with anybody in this room, what they'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll act like we're talking over the radio. As soon as Sydney says over, you can talk again. Okay, how's fair that? enough. Fair okay, enough. Okay, just say as over. As soon as I then. indicate that I'm done with my my rant or whatever, then you go you go with yours. Okay, so this is where I enter my my conversation or my debates. And as it turns out, I have zero common ground with a theist when it comes to debating. Because when I enter a debate, I have an axiom. The axiom that I carry with me at all times, I don't leave home without it, is that existence is infinite. It's an absolute infinite 
just like reality, you can call an absolute infinite. There's nothing pre-existence. So that's the starting point. Um, to go be to go uh, to walk backwards uh, behind a starting point of of infinity is impossible. So God itself is impossible. So to talk about God in any way whatsoever is to talk about uh, some kind of a, a concept that either you've come up with or that you are repeating, and uh, it's just a concoction from the mind of mankind. That's why I feel that it's difficult for me to debate anybody who even considers that the concept of a God is in any way real. Over. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, you know, it's your problem that the uh, existence is an infinite. Any existence is actually finite. If you say existence, existence is infinite, you're going to have to prove it, Sydney. Over. I just did. <laughs> huh? Hey, huh? What? <laughs> you know, uh, I want to. I just want to say to uh, Fossil that, yeah, I mean, it's just an open format. You know, you can jump in wherever you want you can talk about whatever you want um yeah this is actually bringing my spirits up I, i'm in a bit of a better mood um because i've been yeah, really, no, real I, sour I just, all day <laughs> i understand yeah i've been watching i watched your uh I'm your, glad, your uh, smoky glad, saint right. yesterday uh when you, re you really laid into him um speaking of fossil as john has mentioned how do you reckon? How do you think that fossils feel made? How did fossils become to be fossils? Forget about that. Forget. We're talking about the existence, I'm just addressing of, the existence God. of God, which doesn't exist. You first got to. You first got to. You first got to get past the God. The God thing. Okay. Uh, well, I think you have to first get yeah. over the infinite is infinite. I mean, existence is infinite. You right. are the prove one me who wrong. Prove, well, prove me the, wrong. Asserted the infinite prove isn't. Me. I'm sorry. Wrong. You prove are the wrong. one who asserted that prove, uh, exactly isn't prove me wrong. I think that you actually would have to prove that. Uh, well, I, prove I, I agree with you that uh, something must have always existed because something cannot come from nothing. Something physical must have always existed. Something no. Not necessarily. Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent, one zero 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 percent. Something material. Observe nothing coming. It exists no, energy. Not, okay, just call it. Energy. Just call it. Mr. Just call it energy. Okay? It is impossible. Something coming out of nothing. Energy I mean, has always. Got energy to prove is it. infinite. There's, there's your, your simplest breakdown that I can possibly. Science come with. disagrees with you, and secondly, science um, disagrees with me. I don't think so. Absolutely. Are you and a Christian? Second, are you a Christian telling me about science? Yes. Oh yeah. Tell me that evolution is true. Evolution is true. Okay, so you're not a Christian. I am a Christian. Uh, you can be. You can be. You can be both an evolutionist. I think it'd be very important to point out that a well, lot of Christians are evolutionists. I don't care, but you can't be both an evolutionist and a creationist. They, well, they are diametrically opposed to each other. They are diametrically opposed to evolution is bullshit. There's no such thing. Sydney, I am not an evolutionist. If I say that evolution is true, we have to make a distinction what I actually mean. With I, you, I heard what you mean. You said evolution is true. What distinction yes, but of what? I did not yet define what I mean. With I don't I, you don't have to. Evolution is yes, one definition. To. You don't no, have to define um, evolution that's for me. I know what well, evolution means. You, you don't have to tell me. Thank of you. Me. I, to me. Can I interrupt here? I, hold on a second. Uh, I appreciate Artangelo's uh, uh, attempt to educate me on what evolution is. Thank you. Yes, um, and I think that many I have, uh, exactly, I I have think, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I can substantiate what I am saying. There are different meanings for evolution. If we are talking about second degree of speciation. Ah, uh, bullshit. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to go down that finish? road. Can I, can I no, finish, because please? it's a, Sydney, because it's a, finish, it's a bad Sydney, avenue. Sydney, can I finish, please? When I am talking, I don't like to be interrupted. So when well, I don't, finish, don't to say, bring up, to say don't my change the subject. Yeah, I'm not changing the yes, subject. Yes, you are. Evolution just is one thing. I evolution am just, can I finish, please? Can I finish my sentence? Yeah, yeah, please? go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, evolution has different meanings. If you are talking about speciation of first degree, which are small steps of rather 
uh, than saying evolution adaptation, then this is a scientific fact. We can observe that in nature. When we are talking about first pri or primary speciation or macroevolution of, of first degree, which is large uh, 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 evolution uh, and the emergence of eyes and ears and legs and different body plants and different body organism architecture and common ancestry, that is an entirely different topic. And there I disagree. So um, when you say the evolution, you have to make actually that distinction in okay. order to can I can I question you a little bit on that? Well, hold on before you go before you guys go down Otangelo's uh, every single time he's no no it's going to be really oh, hold on oh, hold on hold on a second all right, please, all right all right please please uh, the fossil has been trying to get in for like ten minutes now and every time he speaks you guys rant over him so. I'm going to throw it over to Fossil and let him make whatever point it was he was trying to make. I mean, uh, all right, we'll get to it. Sure, sure. Well, uh, first of all, there's not one definition of evolution. There's uh, speciation by modification. There's also universal common descent by modification, and then there's convergent evolution. Um, you can decide which one you can talk. You want to talk about just for clarification, um, but. Uh, just in case you don't know what convergent evolution is, it's the distant cousins evolving similar features in similar environments and cases. The book uh, Improbable Destinies that I'm reading right now is uh, covers a, a lot about that. So uh, that's just what I wanted to bring in. Okay, can I um, then find out about... Okay, okay, we've got all these different evolutions that I've just all of a sudden mm. being... Six of them yeah. that I've figured out. I came <laughs> well, in with I'm, one. I'm, and talking about three. I'm talking about three. But uh, anyway, let me, let me ask you a question. Well, no, if evolution you, is wait, true, wait, 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 evolution is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. Before you ask anybody a question, explain your comment in the private chat. My comment in the private chat. Oh, that's, no what I was, that's what I was discussing just now. I didn't comment in the private chat. Somebody named no. Sam put it no, there. So that, oh. That's Sydney, John, John. Sam's the other guy. I don't know if John knows much about fossils. That, yeah, that's Sam. No, you're, talking to, about, I, you're talking to Sydney. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. But my question is... With evolution, uh, does that include human beings? It could. Okay, so Adam and Eve were evolved, right? No. I'm not making any specific... Okay, so this is where we have a little bit of a problem. Well, yeah, and I have a problem as well. Uh, so are, are, you, uh, are you no longer a young Earth creationist, Jonathan? Well, uh, here's what I've been doing. I've been examining both sides objectively, and I'm sort of... Leading, leaning towards a, a conclusion somewhere between speciation and uh, also uh, s different trees of life leading towards very different animals. For example, the dinosaurs um, leading towards birds, not, not necessarily our uh, type of birds today, but uh, there's a lot of cre and creationists even sources on this, so... Um, I'm not going to get into a lot of that today. Uh, I did want to talk about, however, um, Rage, since I watched your video uh, or live stream, whatever it was, uh, on dinosaur soft tissue, I think. Mm -hmm. Was that a live stream or video? Uh, probably a live stream. I don't think I ever made the video. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, whenever we can, we can just start. Yeah, I, I saw that you emailed me, and I, I am going to get into my emails. I meant to do it yesterday and because I, sure. I need to email Matt. And uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll email you back. And, yeah, we can definitely have a conversation about that. I'm uh, I'm interested in having that conversation and especially to see uh, – where where you at where you're at now cuz to me that's like positive news i mean that would be a wait, kind, wait. kind of you breaking away from the NIFB a bit right wait 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 a second wait a second is is this guzman yeah this is guzman oh. hello yeah, you he, he, he's he's a lot are. bigger and he sounds older doesn't he <laughs> right yeah he's voice call and but yeah knock was telling me about how you seem to be acceptingly going down the rabbit hole of uh, evolution and is it a rabbit hole what's that is it a rabbit hole for lack of a better term okay okay i mean every every thing can be a rabbit hole sure well here's the thing i'm still christian so i'm never going to move away from that i'm 
We're not saying that. Hey, wait, yeah. we're not saying that. And there's plenty. Look, here's the thing. There's plenty of Christians and other people who believe in different forms of God that still accept evolution. And I never understood why being Christian or being Muslim or whatever you know religion you are would preclude. Uh, Sorry about that. Evolution too, because because if God's all powerful, God could very well have utilized evolution to you know, bring about life. Yes, he could have too done that, John, but we believe that Genesis and the Bible are the authoritative and inspired word of yeah, God. So that's the problem. We read the Bible yeah. is usually the problem. Says, yeah. <laughs> no, Always the problem. The, problem because because is, the Bible is going to be problem because historical because fiction, no matter which way you look at it. demonstrates that human evolution also is not possible. Like, for example, human speech, which is not explained by no means how that could have evolved. There are many are you other things. Are you things fucking that, kidding me, dude? I could sit here. I'm not a scientist. And sorry, I could that. explain to you right now in five minutes how human speech developed. Okay, go ahead. Explain it to me. Do you know all the parts which are involved in order to produce speech in the human, in humans, John? Uh, <laughs> a brain. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, uh, he's... So I was very AFK there. Uh, I'm not sure what I missed. Sorry about that. I can list it to you. Consciousness and memory, a language, the entire system and mechanics of human voice production and control, the lungs, the nervous system links the mouth and ears to the brain, the brain to A, generate the speech, and B, control all organs involved in speech, and C, receive the signals, signals from the ear to speech interpretation, then the ability to the expression of emotions, eight, the ears to receive the sounds, and nine, the four processes used in, to create speech. That there is okay, point. <laughs> point is that that's evolution. What's your point? So What's you your have point? nine points which yeah, are what basically is your point? integrated. Well, it, it, he's getting through the script, man. He's been ready for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you cannot evolve that because you need all these things uh, uh, together in order Therefore to God. Therefore God. Yo, I'm Therefore. Correct, John. Therefore, Therefore God. Therefore, Therefore, Therefore my God. Therefore my God. Jesus Christ. There's no well, respect. There's no respect to be shown for, for anything yeah. to do with God. God <laughs> is a concept. God yeah. is a, God is a really real isn't. cunt. Of a concept. Yeah. I just wanted I mean, to get one know, thing. I show you respect, man. What the heck? <laughs> I just wanted to get one <laughs> thing. Oh, God, Hold up. Do, yeah. do, you all, do you all believe in? Um, I feel like the first thing we need to establish that. Um, do you all believe in God at all? I'm not no, saying Christianity, no. or I'm not saying Christianity or anything. But no, do you no. at least acknowledge the existence of a no, God? No, no, no. God is impossible. Perfect. God is impossible. Just of get it in your head. Yeah, of I, I don't. I, I don't. The I, I, is that only the material world. Exists. I understand. Or, well, no question real quick, like let me let me address it real quick, and then I'll let you go, Yo-Yo. Um, I understand why people um, a couple thousand years ago needed to believe in a god. Um, you know, it, they they couldn't explain the evils in the world. I mean, they were hunt, being hunted by wolves and all those bad things. Um, but we have been up there now. You know, we know that God's not right up there. And we know that this, this universe is really, really, really big. I mean, so big that a human being can't really fathom how big the universe is. Exactly. You know, so, so, you so no, I don't believe, I, I don't believe a God. I, I just don't believe in a God. Well, because the universe is big, you don't believe in a God, uh, right? Well, I mean, I, I, so on that scale, I, on that I, scale, I mean, if a God were to exist, you come to the problem, right? So if a God is to, um, if, if a God exists but remains hidden, what point of a God? Well, God is no not problem, He has not remained hidden, uh, right? But he has. No. You see, hey, hey, listen, Percy Shelley, you know Percy, Percy P.B. Shelley? He says this, if the knowledge of a God is the most necessary... Why oh, guys, I'm going to leave, but I'll join in like let 30 me finish. minutes. Let me finish. Yeah, let's let me finish. finish, and then you can go, yo-yo. If the knowledge of a God is the most necessary, why is it not the most evident and the clearest? Ooh, it is. I think right. you know, whether it's it necessary or not, it's your believe. problem, Sydney. Really quickly, I just wanted to address uh, Sam's question in the, in the, in the private chat. Fossils, uh, how... Were fossils formed? Is that what you were asking, Sam, earlier? Oh, well, John was talking about fossils, and I was making a point that fossils were made by rapid barrier, not millions of years. 
and, and we do seem to be having like a connection issue with yo yo he's been in and out he, I, I do believe he's in africa so he could be having a bad connection if you come back in yo yo i'll let you uh have your chance to to speak um but yeah y'all y'all go ahead rage i wanted to rage and john i wanted to talk to you about uh, dinosaur soft tissue because I think that, uh, Rage, how, have you read the latest papers, uh, especially the ones that I cited in my video? Well, yeah, that's what that that's kind of what confused me because, uh, and and maybe the confusion is stemming that I'm still on this, you know, Guzman is a young Earth creationist thing, and you've obviously kind of advanced beyond that. So I need to maybe understand your position a little better because I was just assuming you you still held the the NIFB position, uh, considering you was in Matt's movie and all of that. So, um, I still consider myself to be a younger creationist. Now, um, that, that, that doesn't go without saying that there are some convincible proofs for evolution, and I have considered those. And so it's I possible, have, fossil, that, you, well, that your position could be, could be wrong. Well, I yeah, and, and, and if you read those papers, like if you've read all the current papers on dinosaur soft tissue, then you understand that no scientist, no, none of them think that these fossils are 4,500 years old. No. Well, uh, actually, Jim Soliday, Mark Armitage, and Williams. Well, fossils, Armitage fossils isn't, uh, he's not an expert. Uh, fossils Armitage. by is an definition yes, he need is. millions of years to become fossilized and uh, and produce that oil that you love so much. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, you know, uh, some, later, some of the latest papers have come out and said that our current model of fossilization isn't actually accurate. Oh, really? Show me these papers. For a long time, we thought yeah. that... What papers are you referring was it, was, it, was the paper from your pastor? No, it was from... Uh, Philip Curry and Reese, 2020, this uh, May 2020, PhD. And they say that our model of permillerization of Philip Curry and Reese? Philip Curry and Aaron Von Der Reese, 2020. The paper is available on uh, ResearchGate for free. And uh, it was published in the Journal of Cretaceous Research. And, Cretaceous Research, okay. Yes. So uh, they say that soft tissue is relatively common amongst dinosaur bones, and even yes, I agree. In, and even in bones from the Permian, they've been finding soft tissue from bones from the Permian. Let me now, back over. Okay. Uh, I believe this was also cited in the Philip Cree paper, but also in the Jasmina Wyman paper. What's the they, science behind this being so only forty five hundred years old? No, no, no. I'm not arguing for that. I'm just saying. Uh, our modern, uh, our previous model of fossilization is not as accurate as we thought it was. That's well, awesome. I mean, even if it's not as accurate, I mean, we're, we're in agreement it's not 4,500 years. It's uh, millions and millions, millions and years. millions of years. Sure, it doesn't It doesn't necessarily say that it's 4,500 years, right? Well, okay, um, well, 10,000 well, years, uh, even 100,000 years, and it doesn't that, matter. And right. as I was saying, like, if you've studied the recent uh, research on these soft tissues, we understand now why they've been able to preserve themselves and why it's very common for this soft tissue to be there. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, oh, atheists, no. a lot of atheists still think that it's a very uncommon and rare thing, that it only happened that once. Um, but we have new science, and we understand why that the soft tissue was preserved the way that it was. Science has ex answered that, and it's right there in those papers you're talking about. No, Rage, there is no explanation in the papers. Uh, the Philip Curry paper does not have an explanation for it. Mary Schweitzer came out with a paper in 20, 2019 with the iron preservation. She was highly ridiculed because of her unrealistic experiments. Hey, Fossil, have you actually read the papers or even read the abstracts or anything yes like i that? have read the papers sir yes, so then I how have. then how do you defend it defend what the conclusions what conclusions that that everything was wrong before and now they're right i'm not saying that i'm you saying that. that yes you did no no no. i'm saying that our modern model of fossilization is incorrect exactly mm -hmm. so defend that how, how is it incorrect it's been defended by several. Uh, no, I'm asking you. Link, so I can uh, understand. On the private sec area, guys. And I'm sorry. Uh, we take it... out the, the fish fossils, and you know there are many different pictures and 
Oh, so here's George one Bush example. Fossils. Here's one example. Okay. There's no way there can be millions of years. These are made by rapid barrier guys. Please. Okay, well, let's uh, we'll probably <laughs> never we'll probably never come to a consensus on this. So I want to get yeah. back to my original yeah. question that I, I asked you guys. I agree. Go and yeah, that go for was, it. <laughs> and that was if Adam and Eve was created by God, it was created like as he must have sort of breathed I don't know, or, or thought Adam and Eve into existence. So Life one the second they were there, the next second they weren't there, second next second they were there. That 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 contradicts with your um your belief in evolution. Can can you there is can something you, that's material and can you tell me what's material. going on here? Um I, I didn't want to talk about this. I wanted to talk about the soft tissue. No, 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 no. God doesn't. There is no God. That's it. God is impossible. We got to. This is where I'm starting from. You, you can, you can go and do soft tissue as much as you like. Hold on, hold on. That, that, not, hold on. Sydney, Sydney. that doesn't not even make me, sense. God God you got to actually to prove rage. your assertion. I'm coming to correct rage on some of the er well, minor yeah, errors. Prove, I said God does not exist because. Well, well that's your no, opinion, Sydney. Yeah, because in your mind, in your mind, your God exists. No matter how much you scream out of your mouth. You know, God doesn't exist. It's not going to prove anything. It's, okay, I mean, you're well, passionate, well, but you're not persuasive. Wait, wait a minute. We could say the opposite to you. Uh, had her, no matter how much you scream that God exists. I just told you, right. your breath of life, the fact that you're living. <laughs> yeah, but you <laughs> told me. Oh, That's hey, an opinion. Sam, Sam, Sam. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, let's bring some order. You don't uh, have to prove that God Ray, doesn't Ray, exist. Rage, let me ask Sam me. one question. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. So ask him a question, and then yeah, I'll, I'll bring some order to this thing, and I'll I'll talk to Jonathan. It, Jonathan, we'll we'll do that conversation one on one. That'll be interesting, and I'll have my information with me. Yeah, that that'll be interesting. So I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I sent you a document in the side chat, uh, Rage. Make sure you check that out, because okay, right, yeah. Sam. Hello. If God there exists, some of the papers in there. So see. Ya. All right. If God exists and is self evident, why do I have to learn about God from other human beings? That's your homework. Certainly. Why don't I pick it up? Why don't intuitively, you? Intuitively, I mean, I mean, intuitively. Me, okay, let me answer your part, question, well, me, you, I haven't finished. Asking. You didn't finish asking oh, his finish. question. Go ahead. Let me let me finish. Why don't I understand God intuitively without the um, the necessity of having some some in, some um, delusional human being tell me? You do. Well, as I have, as I as I have started to answer your question, it's your issue. It's your issue to solve. It's like homework throughout your your life. I mean, many people, including myself, have actually gotten there, but you haven't. But just because you haven't doesn't You're mean throwing that it right back at me. You're not answering my Sam, I asked you a question about the universal universality of your God. Why do I have to hear about him through you? And why no, do you have to hear him? and why do I have to hear him through you? And why aren't can't I independently uh, communicate and establish the, the the reality that this God exists. Well, and, and real quick, you have to yeah, hold, from, hold on, Sam. Wait, John, wait. you going to let me answer? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to let you answer after I say something real quick. I've <laughs> talked very little about this whole thing. See, what you're not understanding, though, Sydney, is that every time you take a breath, every time you shit and wipe your ass, every time that you fucking sneeze on somebody and, you know, get your snot on them, that right there is the evidence of God's existence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Sam is trying to tell you. Like, you should know God exists because you are able to breathe. I don't think that I'm saying that you should know and you're able to you're able to fuck. I mean, that's that that all proves. Well, thanks for strawmanning, John. I think well, that's you okay if I'm having a good time. But what course. if I'm being tortured by so uh, by by witchcraft, and I'm can being scratched by cats in a bag? So can I address you, or without being interrupted? Oh yeah, go for it, man. Here's here's the thing, Sydney. Is there's <laughs> always time for every individual. There will be time for you too. And there will be time for John and Rage. It is up to you whether you're going to take that opportunity or not. I mean, I'm not going to convince well, you. You said to, you were going to answer his oh, question. Oh, come on. Stop it preaching. Again. Oh, we, we, I didn't come here to be preached to. Answer his question. <laughs> Rage, yeah, you're going to have to do something about this room, man. Sir, it's time, time to keep being interrupted. 
Well, well, then, preach. Well, you look, keep being interrupted because you're not you addressing did. any of the substance that people are throwing at you. You're just preaching well, and proselytizing the whole time. And no one wants to listen. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's yeah. not. Yeah. You don't yeah. own the yeah. room, and if you keep doing it, I'm sure you'll probably end up getting kicked. But go off. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. you're not I, I, you're you're not answering the question. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good question. Um, you, you're the one that keeps saying, you know, like we, you know, it, it's proven in our time, right? Like, like, like my time, and I, I try what to. Did I say it's proven? You say the breath of life proves God. You you keep saying that our right. time, and I, I tried to yeah, explain to you right. my time was back then when they pushed it on me because that's what they do. They push it on the children. That's their methodology. Here's what I'm saying, Rage. Please do not interrupt me. You are given well, with the breath of life we got a new heart to you guys. within that certain time, it is your responsibility to find God. The problem is that you haven't yet. And just because you haven't yet doesn't mean that No, the problem is not. that the Bible defines no, God, yeah, and we reject that. Again. Well, yeah, no, you're, you're just giving me hogwash. The, the Bible defines well, your I'm God. Sorry that the gods have been defined. The, the gods have been defined. Ignorant. The gods have been defined, my dude. The Bible defines Yahweh pretty fucking clearly. The the Hebrew Bible defines Yahweh pretty clearly. The Bhagavad Gita defines those gods pretty clearly. You can go talk to a Native American healer. He'll define his God it's fairly weird. clearly. We know what they are. I Maybe reject the. I, I rejected that. You are like okay, as much as you are emphasizing on yourself, on Smokey or other guys, or because of this guy or that guy, and therefore I hate Christians or whatever. You are dictating. You are letting them dictate y yourself. You are supposed to actually be responsible for your life. I am responsible There's for my there life. There is a time. Yeah. Th well, there is a time for you. And if you cannot have that, then I'm sorry. But there are there are people the words, who have done that words, already. I hear the words. There's a time for you. One more time. <laughs> well, well, Sam made well, a very, I'm sorry, very John. Sad. You're not able to take that opportunity. I'm going to call hopefully you. Hopefully, there'll be more time for you later on. Well, no, it's Sam. it's nonsense. Sam, you said well, something it's in the very beginning. Nonsense for you, but not nonsense for those who found it. Sam, you said something in the very beginning of your statement, which I'd like to uh, get a little bit more clarification on. You said it is our responsibility to find God. Now, where yeah. the hell does that come from? Because you are existing. The, the only reason why no, you are existing why, why is so that you can no, save your soul. Responsibility to find, if you lose your soul, responsibility to find gravity or electricity, it was just there. If you lose your soul, Sydney, you're nothing. But we just, we've already established there's no such thing as a soul, Sam. No, well, we have not established it. I didn't. You, you haven't established well, it. scientists have established there's no such thing. Well, we have established it. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Shut up. Shut up. And John have not established it. Reality has established that there's no such thing. Just because you have not established doesn't mean that others are not established. Everybody's getting muted. All right, look. Guys. Can't talk over top of one another, all right? If uh, oh, and, 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 it's okay, you can mute me, but well, no, I, 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 I can't. don't unmute you. If I mute you, yeah, don't. don't okay, I'm 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 the moderator in this room, and I've been letting. Anyway, have a good night, guys. John. Yeah. Look, Bye. You gotta talk one at a time because to the audience, when you talk over one another, it doesn't. Uh, it right, doesn't have a good night. The audience. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Leave. <laughs> what a fucking douchebag. Wow. Wow. I mean, here's the thing. I've owed back on that motherfucker since he got here because of, from the moment he got here, he didn't, un he, he was acting very reasonable and everything, but essentially he was saying to Nakasuchi, and this is my take, fuck you, you dumbass. You don't know what you're talking about. All you need is God. That was what he was fucking saying. Right. He, if he came back right now, he said, well, no, that's not what I was saying. It's exactly what he that's was saying. That's exactly what he was saying. I only experienced the conversation for like 10 minutes, and all he did was backpedal and burden shift and then overtalk everybody that tried to tell him he's not responding know, cogently I, to anything I, they've said. I feel that I didn't get one one uh, point out. To, uh, I didn't make one, one statement to, to the very end or one response to the very end. Right. He, didn't, he did not address your questions at all. He preached to you is what he did. Exactly. Well, yeah, and, and he, he seemed to have some kind of beef with you because, like, he knew you immediately when, once, once you came in, uh, it seemed like. And, and yeah, it's like uh, he wasn't willing. He, he was on his little script about, um, you know, how we've got to find God. Like, dude, I, I found God. I had God for I was a shit human being when I had that guy. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I've, ne I've never found God, and I've never, mm. I've always found it to be. In fact, I was shielded from God until I was in my teens. There was no such thing as God. Uh, I, wish. I, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, indoctrinated, I should say. Mm. The funny thing about God is that they always tell us we need to find Him, but then they define Him as unfindable. You, you can't measure Him, or detect Him, or see Him, or sense Him, or me measure it. You know, and none of that. That's well, that, that literally means it's unfindable. Well, real quick, and, and something we haven't done. I just want to like take a minute and uh, acknowledge a bunch of people that are here. Uh, first of all, the real God is in our live chat right now, and the real God is Junk Shop Library. I found this out yesterday. I watched uh, the the Apostle Paul Camish uh, talked about Junk Shop Library, the real God, um, in a video that I saw on the Long Wanderers channel. But at any rate, you know, welcome Junk Shop, welcome Ann Kennedy, Perfect One, Ox is here, uh, Otangelo Grasso, yeah, he's here, uh, Otangelo Grasso, <laughs> uh, Cora Nightwolf. Um, uh, I saw uh, Critical Cripple here earlier. I don't know if he's still around. Um, if I missed anybody, I, I do apologize. We love all of you and appreciate you coming by. Uh, and uh, yes, Junk Shop Library is the actual God. Yeah, it, it, and it's been an interesting stream. I, we're, we're, we'll continue it for another half hour, hour or so. Um, because, you know, like I, I fully intended this stream to, to be about, right, I'm not angry anymore that the video is deleted, blah, blah, blah. And it became, uh, what it became. Um, I, you know, it's completely my fault because, you know, uh, Smokey Sane is Smokey Sane and he's just a baby and I shouldn't let it affect me. And it's like, whatever. Um, that's not what I do. Oh, and yeah, uh, there went Sydney. So, so if you, uh, if that connection, it Streamyard has been having some fucking issues. So if you come back, Sydney, uh, feel free to come back. Um, but it, a, a very interesting stream. It turned uh, quite a few dumpster fires in a stream that was primarily going to be, Hey, I really want to focus on atheism <laughs> a lot yeah, more hey, than I've been doing. <laughs> Willie will ignorant, right, right on the money, man. All that. Your time will come nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, and I don't get that. Like my time, my time will come for what? Because um, it, it's not going to. I'm not. I, you know, I'm. I'm not going to just convert. You know, you're. It, if that's your intention by coming here and talking to me, that's a lost cause. It's not going to happen. In fact, yeah. as I, I've been describing at the earlier parts of the stream, I feel like I'm more of that first rage making videos than i have than i am more of about this open-minded rage um because well, I, I pretty much i want to focus on atheists because talking to christians drives me fucking crazy well and you know, <laughs> and, and also like just, uh, just to comment on on you know that your time shit you know like i've admitted more than once on this very channel and in other channels that there really is nothing that would convince me of God's existence because I could, a being could appear before me and start performing miracles, could start doing things that would make no sense to my brain, you know, like making things like appear out of nowhere, or, you know, they, they could, they, a being could appear in me in front of me and go to an amputee and make their leg magically reappear. And I still would not attribute it to a God. I would want to know what part of the universe they came from, how, <laughs> how, how you know, how they, uh, you know, got the marvelous science, uh, you know, scientific knowledge that they have and how it is they're doing what they're doing or making me see what I'm seeing or actually manifesting those things before my eyes or what they're doing to my brain to make me believe I'm seeing those things manifest before my eyes. That's where my mind would go. I would never once think, Oh my God, that's a miracle. There must okay, be a God. Yeah. Well, so, uh, real quick, before you go on Tanjalo, I'll let you address John, but I I'm kind of in the same boat. Like I, my thing is Yahweh himself could appear before my eyes and say, I am Yahweh. And I'll be, I'll, my first question are, are you the Yahweh in the Bible? Like, um, you know, is, is the Bible true? And if he's like, yes, then I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> so that's, that's yeah, my exactly. position. That's my position. Go ahead. Otangelo. <laughs> I mean, sorry, my I, router I, reset. I yeah. mean, I sometimes <laughs> I ask atheists what the, their purpose is of their militancy. And sometimes someone says, oh, because they influence our lives through politics and so forth. But besides that, John, what are your 
goals and what is your purpose of promoting what you are promoting, which is your uh, confessing basically your disbelief? I mean, why does there have to be a purpose to it? So you are actually spending your time doing things for no purpose at all? I don't remember saying that. Why does there I have to be a well, I'm asking you, because if you ask me what my motivation is to uh, confess my belief in God, then I immediately can I can give you a good reason for that. But I would like to know no, from you, you what actually no, you... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can give me what you believe to be a good reason for that. It's not necessarily a good reason. Whatever. I mean, I can give you a reason why I do what I do, why I spend so much time uh, doing apologetics and confessing what I believe. So my question to you is, why are you spending so much time um, uh, doing what you do here and at other channels? Well, uh, having okay. conversations about God. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 basically... Just that? It's, I mean, it's, why not it's, about it's, Santa and other things which are irrelevant? If it's just about having conversations, why about God and objecting those which believe in God? And not? And why not talking about anything else? I talk Can about, I provide an answer? We talk about other things. Yes, but you I have mean, a dedicated right, channel right, here just right, raging right. about tears and belief and so forth. What is your purpose? I think I can give a pretty good answer for this. Well, I asked well, John. He's asking, he's asking me. <laughs> and what I'm trying to make him understand is I don't have to have like a reason or a purpose in doing it. I enjoy doing it. And when it comes to the apostate alliance, uh, which we have every week, me and, me and Faye, it's because that all started from the idea that religion hurts people. Um, especially, you know, uh, people that live in, in Muslim countries. Um, and, and to a large extent, all religions hurt humanity. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, Does Christianity oh. and what Christ stands for, which is loving your next as yourself, does that hurt humanity? Yes. Well, absolutely. Yes? Yes. Wow. So, so love hurts, hurts people? But that's um, not what Christians are doing. Yeah, when that love, when that's that, not what I'm saying, Leon. When, when, when that, when that love, when that love for human beings um, insists that those human beings um, not be the human beings they are, when that love insists that they be not what they are, when that love insists that they're wrong for being what they are, yes, it's a problem for humanity. I am, I am saying. The, the, the concept of loving other people, to do good to other but people, that, uh, to care for As them. Leo was about he to said, say, that's not Christianity. Uh, Leo, but you, that's you not can, what you I'm can saying. Say Christ, Christ's golden rule is exactly that. So, it is to love your next as yourself. So, Archangelo. That and that's been around and since that, before even Judaism, let alone. Angelo, I, got a, I got a response wow. to you on that one because I remember when the rage first met Christian, a Christian, a particular Christian on his show and now you saying christians should be loving and and all this kind of positive stuff well the ra the rage met a p particular evangelical christian named darth dawkins and your portrayal of a christian and this christian's uh presence uh on uh, on the rage's show as a christian was appalling as a, as a human being, it was appalling. I agree with you, Sidney. Now, my question is, Good if point. people say that they are Christians and they do not follow what Christ commanded, which is to love our next and to do good to our next, and Christ himself, he gave the best example. He died on the cross for humanity. Is this concept so, good or bad? By your so, by, oh, yes. That, now yeah. you're getting all depraved. Because whenever you start talking about Jesus dying on the cross, my mind goes to the, the Christian crusades against uh, the pagans and the, and the Muslims and, and, the, and anybody who wasn't strictly Catholic. I'm so well, it is angry worth about noting that, that the, the Muslims are starting to say I am only talking about what Christ gave us as the goal. That's what Christ gave you, which them. Is, Christ gave us as the golden rule 
to love each other. To the golden love. rule was, was, was around long before. What, yeah, what yeah. we expected uh, others to uh, Marcus us. Aurelius was a Stoic, and he lived long before. Yeah, yes. and, and and so my question is: Is homosexuality a sin? Yes. So see, there you go. With you, how is it yeah. love to think that these people, because they love the, the human beings that they love, how is that love, Otangelo, to think that they deserve to be thrown into a lake of fire? Okay, listen, Rach. First That's not love. Life. That's not love. So you can sit here and say Let Christianity me. is love, and I can spit on that and say Christianity is hate. Christianity is absolutely <laughs> okay. I mean, what is the what is the main reason most people like Christian 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 uh, nothing so far as I know. He said that. Uh, oh, okay. Um, okay. So then, on what basis do you say that homosexuality is a sin? Romans one. I thought you said you base your life on Christ and Christ's actions. I base my life on the New Testament, which does not include well, only not the gospel. That's not what you well, said five Christ minutes is, ago. Christ is the central figure you upon which on we orient God. our lives. Now, we are moving goalposts. I think... I'm I not, want no, you know, the goalpost is love. And if you're okay. going to... So, so this is the problem with Christianity, because Christianity thinks that they have the God-given uh, God right and, and should attack gay people and take away no. their rights. It ha well, maybe maybe not in your no. neck of the woods, Otangelo, but here where I live, that's exactly what's happening. They are not doing what Christ said that we should, we should do. Christ said that we should but love. Right, but Christ said the people. homosexuals are sins. It yeah, they deserve well, to be punished. Well, the, the, am, the, the Bible tells to, to, the Bible can says I, to kill him. Can, can I? No. <laughs> Jesus no, Christ, oh, the, lo the loving Lord, said to kill the homosexuals. Testament. Really? Okay. I can I can have listen yesterday I went to meet with a guy which is openly homosexual he has sold us our pet and I have a fantastic uh, friendship with this guy and I treat him with respect so and why do you as I would treat any other people you think my wife has why my wife has employees which are okay so we treat them with but you, respect but i mean and so is respect is respect people. thinking that they're gonna that like so but you think that they're gonna that it's gonna be justified for your god to throw them into a lake of fire for that how is that respect well the bible says that we are all missing the the the, the goal of our yeah but he, he's not gonna throw you in the lake of fire you're he's gonna throw them in the lake of fire well, not only them, but all those which do not surrender oh, to yeah, Christ, accept, accepting of, of uh, forgiveness and eternal life. That's your choice. That is oh the. Oh, well, yeah, the but they, they can be accepting of Christ and eternal life, but, but be active gay people and still go to hell, right? Well, if they accept Christ as Lord and Savior, then they will tr be transformed. And I know gay people. Which, which Je Jesus is going to cure the gay. Form. Jesus is going to cure no. the gay. If they, if they surrender to Christ, then Christ can transform them. And I know many examples of uh, uh, homosexuals, which actually the, after that they surrender. Yeah, they are ashamed into den to denying who they are. Like people like Becca Cook. I just uh, uh, put out a video uh, to where he's shaming uh, Elliot, uh, Elliot Page for coming out um, as trans. Um, and Be Becca Cook is a perfect example of that. Yeah, he's been he's been he, he accepted Jesus and he says Jesus cured the gay from him, even though he's a celibate man. You know, he doesn't sleep with women no more. Um, he just he just denies himself what he actually is. And he feels shame when he thinks about what he actually is, because Jesus tells him to feel shame for that. That's not love. That's that's a, that's a very abusive, abusive relationship. Rage. First of all, we should actually all feel shame and repent from what we are doing wrong. That is not only in regards of a sexual orientation, that is in regards of any kind of sin, which is stealing, which is killing, which is uh, 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 all kinds of sins. We should feel ashamed of these things that we are doing wrong. So you have a lot of we should be doing this inside. Yeah, you. like why? Yeah, like why should well, I feel ashamed because I jacked off? Why should I feel ashamed of that? 
Well, there are there are many things that we know. That should I feel ashamed because I smoke wrong. weed? Should I feel ashamed because you know sometimes I stay up late and um, talking to Christians and I shouldn't, and then that makes me a grumpy ass dude the uh, next day. Nobody not? wants to be around. I mean, well, I, 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 you're I, making things up now. You're talking to me. I th- I see nothing. I'm wrong. just trying to understand, I like Angela. <laughs> ultimately, you're being very superficial. In what sense? In, in, in the sense that it's none of your fucking business what anybody does in their bedroom and you have no say yes I, I am not saying anything about what others say what the others but, do in their but, bedroom yes That's you just did, are you telling me that you just you just derided homosexuality as being anti as being something that christ said was wrong and now you're saying you did that's what is in the Bible, and I am a Christian, so I yeah, believe. Yeah, but you also got to understand that it's people that are homosexuals. It's not homosexuality. You might, you might. I don't give a fuck about a homosexual one way or the other, but I care more about the people that you are denigrating, and that everybody, okay, anybody, who, not, listens you, anybody who listens to you, anybody who listens to you, anybody who listens to you. Hold on, Sydney. Oh, Tindall, would you like to leave now? Because I, I let a member of the LBGTQ community into the room. I'm just wondering if that like offends uh, he's, he's, you. Or... He's not Absolutely one of those. Not. He's not one of those. Absolutely uh, not. I have no problem with that. Why you should I have a question for Tindall? She's going to burn in hell. She's going to burn in hell. I mean, do you really no. want to spend my No, She's gonna burn nonsense. Hell? You're, you're saying nonsense, John. Why can I have not a normal, friendly, respectful... <laughs> Because you told her to go and burn in hell before you even met her. I have not said that. Do not put uh, words in my mouth, Sydney. You're not putting words in your mouth. No, yeah, I, I, that's what I asked. What Bible, if you are asking me what the Bible says, then I will say. I don't tell give you a what fuck about your says. stupid fictional Bible. The, the Bible okay, is the problem you, again. <laughs> Well, then go ahead. Here's, here's the disconnect, Otangelo. Okay, you're trying to uh, separate yourself, and yet you just said a few moments ago, you follow Christ, you follow the tenets of the Bible. You, you know, that's what you base your your life and your morality on, and everything. And now right. you're trying to separate from that. You're saying I can have respect for this person from the LBGT community, even that's though being, that's believe, being biblical. But, that's that's doing what Christ told us to do. Christ didn't say, say that we should hate peoples which have a different sexual sexual orientation. Christ didn't say that because... Christ said nothing about LGBT. Christ said nothing. Christ right. didn't even exist. So and we the can't Bible, even use that. Well, yeah. That's another... That's the thing. But, yeah. so, and, well, no. Whatever. That's the thing, though. That Because this whole conversation, I'm not trying to put you with your back against the wall. And yeah, Marty, I'll let you go as soon as I'm done talking. Um, I'm not trying to put your back against the wall with the hard question here. It's just the fundamental issue with Christianity, especially if you're going to come at us like this is some kind of love, love religion, because it's just not. It if we saw that in it society, I could, I could agree with you and say, you leave it alone. Just, I'm going to let, I'm going to let Marty speak after me yeah. and then you can address, uh, I, you know, like Jane, Jane's, I, I don't have much issues with Jane's because Jane's aren't trying to affect society. Society. They're not trying to take away mar- uh, marriage from gay people, um, and they're definitely not trying to trade body favor. autonomy away from women. Um, I am in favor so that's of where all of this stems from. Marriage. The problem with the Bible. The problem with the Bible. I am in favor that gays have their civil rights preserved. Well, that's that's great. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, Christianity doesn't. Can you get? Yeah, unfortunately, that's Christianity that's doesn't do true. that. That's not true. Yes, it is. True. That was that, if people that was are doing that, okay, but that's that. not Christianity. <laughs> oh, pathetic. Wait, but they're you know, doing it because of their Christian well, beliefs. Well, yeah. Well, let's, well, let, let's, well, let's let let's let Marty uh, speak. Let's let Marty speak. Who is to blame? Yeah, yeah, who is to blame for that? He didn't want to. Hey, when Knox said we're not trying to back you, you know, put your back to the wall. I'm starting to think that you protest so much that you'd like to have your face put to the wall and uh, uh never mind um uh, all right oh tangela we speak on you on facebook a little bit um my issue and this is correct me if i'm wrong but it seems like you're kind of trying to have your cake and eat it too it seems like you're trying to affirm the bible and then like go against the bible um, you're trying to say I'm cool with gay people, but the Bible's not. So if you follow the Bible, which nope, nobody I agree with you, 
I agree, I disagree with you, Marty. The Bible does not say anything that we should, should chastise, condemn, or, 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 or hostilize gay people. The yeah, Bible does not say anything about that. Have what you read Leviticus? Well, yeah, but that's not to that kill we them. are talking about. The, do you know a Christian which is killing gays because they are gays, Leo? Um, yeah, there are some countries. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 people have been beaten to death in the United States. It's happening in Russia right now. It's happening in Uganda. Yeah. Um, and we have sects of Christianity here in America that's trying to push for the legalization of it, uh, of the United States government executing gay people here in America. So, yeah, I mean, to, to sit here, like, I understand that you might not agree with what the Bible says. And that's what Marty is trying to tell you. You're trying to have your cake that's and eat it, too. Saying. No, that's not what I am saying. I am saying that the Bible is not oriented us and I, with that i am saying the new testament is not orienting well, us then say the new testament to that's chest, not just the chest, bible to chest, well but i am a christian and the new testament uh, is the new covenant and some rules which were applicable in the old testament they which are ones not applicable anyone which well, ones that is an, how do you how, you, how, how do you determine which ones because well, jesus well, himself well, jesus himself said he didn't come to change the law um he came to uphold he the law. Came, That's his own words. Fulfill, he came to fulfill the law. Now I understand. The, the, do you, you understand what the law is? Because the law, the law says to kill gay people. That's the law that's in reference here. He came to uphold it. He come. He didn't come to break the law. Well, also, if you read the New Testament range, then you will see that these issues were dealt with, and we are not. They, they were. To, they to, were to, dealt to with with uh, by by Paul, right? Now, Otangelo, are you look if you're looking at the Bible through a modern lens? Where okay, here because when I look at the Bible in the rare occasion that I do, and the last time that I read it, I couldn't get past in the beginning God. That's just where I stopped because it stopped making sense. What? Um, I I couldn't. Um, no, no. In the if you look at it in the modern lens, back in the day when there was like five people on the planet, sex and marriage had to be between a man and a woman. Because there was nobody on the planet, so we had to procreate. There was no, there was nobody, there was nobody there. So and, he, course, and even back then, people. even back then, they had gay people. Um, just a exactly. lot, of, a lot of times they'd people. kill them. They just like you know, they straight up right. kill them. <laughs> and it was, it was, it was because uh, it was because uh, um, that was seen as feminizing another man. And back in at least in the Bible, because the Bible really doesn't affirm women, it, it, it just doesn't. Uh, uh, and Very I know sexist. someone's going to have it. Very sexist. But, yeah, because, and That's the women not true. Are, I disagree women, with you. Hold, Christ hold, hold is treated hold women hold on, hold with on, much I, respect. I, I got to leave for work at like 2.30, so hang on a minute and let okay. me... Let me um, yeah, we got to be done uh, by 2.32. So. <laughs> yeah, so the women that are, uh, are affirmed are the ones that were um, pretty much subservient, but the ones that like spoke up and wanted to be at least equal or partners to their men were demonized. So that's one thing. So, um, so back in the day, sex and marriage had to be between one man and one woman because we needed people. We, if you if you're looking at that passage of the Bible now and still upholding to that, that's not realistic because a there were gay people back in the day, like Nacho said, and b we have so many people. Fuck, I mean we have too many people right now. So we don't need sex and marriage doesn't need to be just for procreation. So that's 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 those things. Also, you are kind of trying to have your cake and eat it too, because you're saying that um, you're saying on one breath, well, we treat gay people with respect, and you saying on another breath, did you say something that you knew somebody that was gay, and then all of a sudden they become Christian, and then they were transformed? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, he went there. Yeah. So your your God is not a cure, and uh, being gay is not something that needs to be taken care of by your God. I know people that are LGBT. And that that believe in that believe in God. I play Dungeons and Dragons with um, uh, a Christian who is at least I get, I'm gonna say I don't know maybe she's bi or lesbian, but she's talking about girlfriends. And um, somebody else who uh, is a Christian who completely affirms and 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 um, you know who completely affirms being LGBT. It's also not a lifestyle. So let me stop you right there, just in case you're thinking that's a lifestyle. I don't live a bisexual lifestyle. I live a life. I go to work. I'm about to go to work in about, you know, at, at 2.30. I have pets. I get up. I, you know, I, I, I eat, sleep, and shit and pay taxes, just like, <laughs> just like everybody else. 
So I don't leave a different light to anybody else. So just wanted to clear that up right now because I know I know a lot of people think that it's a lifestyle and that Jesus or God can get you out of that lifestyle. It, it's not. It's nothing that needs to be cured. There's nothing wrong with us, and uh, I don't live a different life to anybody else. It's that type of thinking that leads to Jesus camps and electroshock therapy. <laughs> That's what it. Exactly. You know. hey, uh, real quick. Uh, hello, brain bug. Hello, godless granny. They're in the chat now. Iron tear. A tear showed up. Uh, there's also someone named Maverick in the chat who thinks that Otangelo is wise. Um, Maverick's been in the chat before. I've seen. Yeah, Maverick I've before. seen them. I've seen Maverick around. I mean, yeah, I Otangelo is, is smart. So, like, you know, I, I I don't take that away from him. I I, I definitely think that Otangelo thinks that. That, and a lot of people, and, and John, John will be the first to tell you, like he knows people, that, that that's their Christianity. And I've often spoken that the progressive message has to hold up. It's just the problem is the Bible, and it always is. The problem's been the Bible with a couple Christians here today, and it always comes down to the Bible. The Bible is your fucking issue. It was written two thousand years ago in a different world, and it's an issue. And and to you can't run away from it. I mean, you try, you try to have that cake, you try to eat that cake, and then you try to distance yourself away from the cake. Most of us do that. We're all trying to lose a little weight, but you just can't run away from that cake. You know. <laughs> what what I am trying to say, Rach, is that many atheists they make a conflation between what the New Testament says and what Christians do. And there is a big difference here. And because you, Chris, that's how a lot of Jews act. A lot of Jews act different. Well, like that the is, Bible. That yes. is a, well, I agree that this is a problem. Well, Christians that, it's say a, they are Christians and they do not it's follow what Christ actually says. Such a bigger problem than that. Because, you know, if, if Jesus was this, this, this one defining um, spirit, whatever you want to call him, that's going to get you into heaven, that, that he's going to be able to somehow adjust your soul upon impact, as you yourself suggested that these gay people were just... I don't even know. I, I'm not even going there. But if that's possible, we should be able to see consistency, uh, consistency there. I'm writing a video on this right now. This is one of the biggest proofs that there is no Jesus. There is no consistency there. There is no. There's no overtaking of individual human beings, and they all and, and they come to this this divine path of life. No, they sit there and they bicker about what what they were talking about two thousand years ago, and then they interpret it and they live their life based upon that. That's the fucking issue here. Your interpretation is one that is m uh, more acceptable than others but then again you spend hours upon hours upon hours of dissecting science so you can at least try to stump atheists and and try to progress this narrative that you care so much for which is fine that's what you do but that's just the blatant truth of it all this fucking <laughs> this fucking bible is a fucking problem on society hey, well, so, Matt, so let me ask you guy, hold on otangelo hold on otangelo i open my mouth first hold on who was the guy that, that did the the thing you critiqued? They were coming out about Elliot Page. Uh, Beckett Cook. Yeah. Beckett Cook. Okay, so there's Beckett Cook. So I watched Knox's uh, video, and I've watched other, a couple other videos now with Beckett in it. All right, like Knox was saying earlier, Jesus did not cure Beckett of the gay. Oh, he's and still so good. Yeah, yeah, right. Beckett, Beckett is denying what and who he is he's denying himself the pleasure that he wants to seek because he was uh he was like uh embarrassed he was he was badgered into you know uh feeling uh some type of uh, uh loathing for himself uh, for feeling guilty about being who he was and so now he's denying himself that but there is no doubt that God, that Jesus did not cure him of the gay. He is still gay, but yeah. he is just denying himself seeking out uh, partners of the same sex. That's all okay. that's happening. Yeah, okay. yeah. Leo's got I, his hand I, I, up. Uh, gay is not something that can be cured. If God didn't want people to be gay, why did he write that not just into the genetics of humans, but of like most mammal species and even some non-mammal species like bees? Okay, this is a point to which I agree. This is a difficulty. I don't understand why there are gay people, which I know uh, tried to be come out and become straight, and they are not able to. And I know even of children of pastors, which grew up in an evangelical family, and uh, there was no indication or reason why in a psychological sense they should or 
would become gays and they became gays and they said, well, I love Jesus. I would not like to be gay and I am gay and I'm unable to uh, leave that, so, uh, that thing. The only reason the only reason they think they have to leave it is because of the stupid ass fucking Christianity. Like they're gay. They're not they're not gays. They're just humans. That love exactly. who they love. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. They're being shamed into feeling <laughs> like they need to not be who they are because of the pressure from society and the religion and what they're taught. That's why, Otangelo, that's why LGBT people have the highest suicide rates. It's not because they're the gays. It's because of the shit we take from the outside world. Uh, I got, I mainly got Christians. I got lucky with my family. when Mainly theists. When I came out to my mom, I got lucky. My dad is indifferent. My mom was super ultra supportive. She used to help me pick out clothes when I would go on dates with girls because I can't get dressed to go on a date with a girl. A guy, no problem. I could dress for a guy, no problem, but a girl is a lot harder. So, I, and I would, you know, I went here, I met this girl. I would just, what about this girl? She'd get that girl's number. And just, what, I, you know, my mom has been super duper supportive. Not everybody gets so lucky. So, when you went, think about can I, that. Can I make another point really quick? Yeah, so, sorry. Huh? No, that's fine. Um, I just wanted to point out most, most of the stigmatization of not just LGBTQ community, but like who who did all the witch burnings in the like what was it seventeen and eighteen hundreds in the United States? Christians. Who who were the ones that owned slaves and utilized the Bible to justify it? Christians. Who's been persecuting gay people and transgender people for God knows how many generations? Christians, there seems to be a recurring theme when we see the oppression or the suppression of other people, and it seems to be rooted in religion, especially in the Western world, Christianity. Christ, real quick, Christ, real quick, Christ. Otangelo, and I'll let you go. I, re- I want to address something in the chat, and and I, because I agree to a point, um, and then I, 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 but I wanted, I want to kind of explain my direction with Becca Cook, um, the. I do not think it is appropriate for you all to be telling Becca Cook what his lived experience is. I agree with that. If you are a person, and and no matter how much I disagree with the shame that you might feel that, or whatever's going to make you um, a whole in life, if it's finding Jesus and denying yourself being gay, then that's on you. My, my issue isn't really with that. Becca Cook can make that decision in his life. The problem is he wrote a book and he's going around publicizing that this is the way, that this is the cure. That Jesus is the cure, that going being gay is wrong. Um, if he wasn't doing oh, no. that, I, I I would I would leave him alone. But the fact that he's doing that, and the fact that now he's gonna throw this little hissy fit because Elliot Page is Elliot Page, and he wants to what be I don't know, just straight up stupid and and, and be a dick. Well, then he can be treated as such. So yeah, I mean that that I wanted to address that. Go ahead. So let me yeah, answer the bad rage. So, what is oh, your problem? Yeah. Otangelo, Otangelo, hold up. All right, and let me say that perfect one. I don't think that is appropriate for you to tell anybody else what they can be commenting on. Okay, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is I was giving my opinion based on what I heard, read, and saw. And the fact of the matter is, there is no doubt in my mind that I'm correct. Could I be wrong? Sure. Is Beckett Cook maybe still not a homosexual? Sure, it's possible, but it's highly unlikely. He wow. is a homosexual. He's denying himself what he wants to do because he was shamed into denying what and who he is. Well, yeah, and, and, and he goes about trying to yeah he goes about trying to shame other people, um, and 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 that's that's the beef. And you know I told Beckett Cook, and I'll say it here publicly that that he is more than willing to come on here and have a conversation with me. I'll try to be as respectful as I can, convince me of his position, um, justify his position, and answer my questions. I'll answer his questions, and I I've extended that invitation to him personally, um, and now I'm extending it publicly. Um, so yeah, so, feel Rach, free to come on. Prob- so, Rach, what is your problem if someone who was gay came to? Wow, can I? Can I? Well, 
because okay, because I don't think either, that I don't think either it, I have time to either I have time also to make my point or I leave. What, what is it? Make your point, but I don't think that being gay is something that should so or can, can be cured. Point? So can I make my point, please? Go ahead. So if someone which was a gay and he yeah. converts to Christianity Sometime. and he holds that a new view now that being gay is wrong. And he actually denou- he's denouncing of his. Uh, then I uh, treat it. Wow! Well, can I finish? Go ahead. Go ahead. And, 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 and it's and hard he, for and, me with homophobes sometimes. Go ahead. Well, first of all, I am not a homophobe. Rich, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, what, what, Leo? Thank you, your little. You don't know about that, so you are accusing me now that I am a homophobe. Is that correct? No, You're I don't, I don't you, he's not accusing him. He's not accusing he you. Someone he and I and other people in this room are coming around and saying, "Oh, Tangelo, you are a fucking homophobe." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't agree. I think he's just. I think he's just. I, I don't think you're a homophobe, Angelo. And I think you might be a little misguided on what um, being LGBT is and what it means when people convert to Christianity. What I think you're saying, trying to say, is why? Why is that a problem when yeah. somebody decides that they're, you know, they're going to be a Christian and not be? Correct. Be, so, correct. So, 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 so somebody that's gay, somebody, somebody that's gay that, that, that accepts Christianity and then goes to, to hate gays. Um, and I'm supposed that's to, the problem. Well, I agree with you. That's the problem. But if someone turns a Christian and says, I'm not gay anymore because of my faith, but respects others, which are gays. Again, I, I just, I, I answered that. Then I would have no problem with that. Then do you okay. boo? Do you boo? Okay. I, I said that about Great. Becca Cook, but the problem is Becca Cook isn't doing that. Becca Cook is shaming other people for being gay. Becca Cook okay. is going around saying that Jesus cured him of being gay. And that's just not the truth. He, right. he says with his own mouth, you what know, about, he, he, I'm a celibate Christian. man. He's not going around sleeping with women. That would be being cured of of being the gay, right? Like that would be cured of being gay. Or like now I'm attracted to women. He's not attracted to women. He's still attracted to men. He's just denying that to himself, which is fine. Do that on your own time. Don't don't make other people feel the same shame that you're feeling yourself. That's the problem. Is he, is he doing that? Yes. Yes. That's exactly yes. what he's doing. He's yes. saying that everybody is okay. He's saying because now I've turned straight, which he hasn't turned straight. He's just not doing it with guys. He's not doing it with anybody. <laughs> He's still he attacking like, the men. So, so, so do we have so a no, 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 question, though? Oh, Angelo, oh, Tangelo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, um, he did like, I think it was like a 40 or 50 minute stream, you know, uh, denouncing uh, uh, Elliot, uh, I can't even think, think oh, of his Elliot Page. Elliot Page, who formerly was Ellen Page for you know being trans i mean you know which that's part of the lbg okay now yeah you know, and i'll going back to my scurrilous accusation of you i just have one question for you okay and 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 i understand what you've been saying this whole time you're very accepting as marty tried to explain to you you know that's having your cake and eating it too do you agree with god if someone is gay when they pass into the other realm, do you agree with God when God puts that person in hell? I I agree with God that all humanity is guilty and in sin in front of God because okay. nobody... Okay, okay. Is yeah, 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 no can I have a Hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't talked a lot during this whole thing, and, and I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to ask my question again. I'm 26 minutes. <laughs> you, you, I'm sorry if I'm being like. You want me to answer it? I can answer. Or, it. Okay, but here's the thing: I asked you if a person dies while still being gay, and God says because you did not renounce, you did not, you know, accept Christ, uh, and also not be gay anymore. If God puts them in hell. Do you agree with that? It's a yes or no question. It's a close-ended question. Yes or no? no? It's not that easy, John. He's, yeah. he, he, yeah. he's, he's not making no, social I don't care about it. Oh, Wait, stop, can, stop. I John, John, can, Wait, can I get more details oh, from your oh, question? No, 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 because I'm asking Otangelo a question, no, and I like want I, to I want to just understand. Hold on. 
Everybody else can hold on. Everybody else can espouse their opinions. But first, I want an answer from Otangelo because he's the one that's claiming he's not homophobic. It's real simple. If God puts a gay person in hell for eternity, are you cool with that? Do you agree with that, Otangelo? I will not answer your question. Oh, you won't. Wait a minute. But I thought I thought you God was your boy, man. It's not well, that. I can, not well, that. well, maybe you, you know, permit me to answer, I, but I will not answer it yes or no because I disagree with your question, actually. Yeah. Oh, you disagree with me? So, so you don't think that God should put gay people in hell? Okay. Can I answer and you don't interrupt me? Sure, but first I want uh, – it's a close-ended question. I already answered point. that I will yeah. not answer your question, and I would like to give an answer. But then you just said you wanted to. No, right. I, I know. I, I, oh, God damn it, quit fucking interrupting me, everybody. Okay? <laughs> this is between me and Otondro right now. I haven't talked that much during this thing. And and, and, and God damn it, I, this this is something that I want to I want to get – nailed down right now okay because otangelo you've been playing both sides of the aisle during this whole fucking conversation and it's real simple you said that god is your boy basically i'm just saying that you know real simple and that your life is based on god and god according to you according to the bible puts people in hell for sinning and you're claiming that being gay is a sin, even though you yourself personally are cool with, with people that are homosexual. And I'm asking you, if God puts a homosexual in hell for eternity, is that okay? He will not do it because of what you are saying he would. He would not do it because of what you're saying. So you're saying God does not... Does well, not punish people to eternal damnation for being gay. That's why I tried to clarify okay, so earlier I, too. I I I, 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 I I tried to clarify uh, that earlier. I tried to clarify that uh, earlier. Right. And how can you that's, anybody say it's not the right question? It's it my is. Fucking uh, question. Oh, sorry, not sorry, asking your own fucking question. Hold on. I have the answer. Hold on. He's not making special concessions for gay people. He's saying everybody, gay, straight, or otherwise, deserves hell. So that's why that question is not a, a, a it's, it's correct. Not a all, it's, all, everybody yeah. goes to hell. He's not, but he's not right because he's saying every person, gay, straight, or otherwise, is a sinner. So okay. he, is not making Romans special three. concessions for gay people. Romans three yeah. says clearly there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All right. have turned that away. Such, they have together become bullshit. worthless. That there is, is no one. Bullshit. Because who now what you're who? saying is that Not everybody goes one. to hell. No matter what yes, anybody that, every, yes. what you're saying is that everybody goes to hell. And that's, that's bullshit. Exa that's well, exactly technically speaking, they do, journey, but then Jesus' right. atonement right. saves those who choose to believe in him from that hell. All right, every, so, everybody. Uh, the better way to ask is if, if there's a gay Christian, somebody who's accepted Jesus but never renounced being yeah. gay, do yes. they go to heaven or do and, they and I did clarify that earlier. I, to say, to say I did clear I, I and I I, I I clarified that earlier and it was clarified earlier. Um and, and I was trying to get that in. Did I specifically clarify that earlier? So and, and so answer that question, Otangelo, because I think he dodged it earlier. Answer that okay, very right. specific question. If, it, no, let me ask it though. So let me ask it. Um if a Christian who lives their life as a Christian their entire life, accepted Jesus Christ, lived the Christ life, whatever that means, in your opinion. But the one thing they did outside of that was they were gay their entire lives, and they acted on being gay their entire lives. Does God put that Christian in hell? Just two minutes, I have to open my employee's door, okay? I'm mm -hmm. right back. Yeah, that, that's what he was saying. I had a question oh. to ask. Um, raised. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, uh, what's it called? I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't trying to go ahead, yo yo. Well, Tangela that, said he had to go open something up and he'd be back in two minutes. Go ahead, yo yo. Okay, um, I was just gonna ask Rage, um, like the way I asked it, that's the first, well, that's what I was gonna ask John initially, like, is this person a Christian? Because if he's not a Christian, then it's like almost the same with it. It's like, uh, you, you're not different from everyone else. Like what Otangela say, like everyone is already like, according to Christian faith, go, if you don't receive Christ, you're already like, um, going to hell. So everyone is under that same boat. 
But if they're a Christian, that's a different question. But then um, I feel like it also depends on what kind of a Christian you are. Because there are some Christians who say, um, who say like, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian, but they don't do things to show or to, they don't do actions that are Christian-like, if that makes sense. Like you don't see them trying to pursue to better themselves or to live according to um, the, the will of God or what God says or what, basically the word of God, what God says in the Bible. They don't try to pursue to live like that. Then right, so you. What God says That's in the Bible, different. Leviticus uh, 2013 says, If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall be put to death. Their blood is upon them. That's what God says. So what? Leviticus, Levit- Leviticus 2013 says, if a, man lies with, if a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall be put to death. Their blood is upon them. That's what the Bible says. Mm, well, I don't know if they'll be put to death, but all I know that's, is the that's end of That's Levitical it. law. That's God's law. Says. That's God's law. That's not anybody else's law. That's God's law. That's Levitical law. Whether or not, uh, I don't... Whether or not they'll kill you today. Je- Jesus know, said, the- and I remind you, Jesus said, I came not to break the law. I came to uphold the law. That, yeah, those are Jesus' words. And the law says, and I'll read it again. If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Jesus is literally saying that. <laughs> yeah, well, having committed an abomination, yes, fu- yes, that's fine. But the put to death part, I don't know about that part. But all I know is that the end the, of it... Again, like the problem is, is the Bible once again. It's always the Bible because it's right there in that Bible. You don't know about it, but it's there. No, but what's <laughs> this also... That's what I was trying to say. But there's also another part for like, okay, there's... Uh, if you do wrong, right? It's because there's also an aspect that no one is perfect. But if you do wrong and you like seek forgiveness and you do your best to not do that thing again, there is that sense that um, your sins will be forgiven and you can move on but as long as you pursue to be better. But there are some people who don't pursue that. Um, like, Le- do wrong and for the chat, again, that was uh, Leviticus uh, 2013. Uh, and and uh, what, what Lucifer is saying in the chat is there is theories out there that, uh, and we just recently talked with Dr. Josh about that, in fact, so um, there is theories out there that it could have been changed, but there's really no historical evidence of that. And Dr. Josh said that himself. So there is a couple well, of scholars theori- the is- theorizing that it was incest and not homosexuality. The problem is we don't have the original Hebrew text, so we can't. We don't know, right? We just don't know. Well, all I there's know one is theory I, I want. Or, yeah, and, and Leo. Yeah, Leo wants to jump in, and yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I just yeah. wanted to say there's one theory that I want to ask Dr. Josh about personally was that it wasn't condemning homosexuality in general as an act. It was condemning a man who was married and committing homosexual acts, not because the homosexuality was a sin, but because the adultery part would have been a sin. But I don't know yeah. if that if that's and a way if that's that's an, actually an interesting that. argument that I haven't I haven't thought about it in that way, and that would be something to yeah have a talk with Dr. Dr. Josh or see what the historians might might think about that perspective because yeah that could be a good point as well it, it, it's very possible that that the Bible doesn't condemn homosexuality that God doesn't condemn homosexuality it's very possible that Christians are wrong about this just dead fucking wrong so th- there is that possibility but the problem is again we have, we live in the modern age and Otangelo despite everything you're saying I hear you yo yo I hear you the problem is a lot of Christians read that and they think you should be out there killing gay people or at least hating them. And that's the fundamental problem. And it all stems to the original initial claim that Christianity is a religion of love. If you're going to make that claim, then you need to show that because history has not. Pure and simple. And a lot of, a lot of Christians will put those old witch burnings on Catholics, but it was the Protestants doing it too. And then they don't want to talk about that. We live in the modern world. Well, in the modern world, here in America, there's a lot of Christians talking about killing gay people. And if not killing them, then at least not allowing them to have the rights that every human being has. Now, I don't care what they do in the bedroom. I care what they do in life. If they're shitty people, I'm going to call them out. I don't care if they're gay, straight, whatever they are. If they're shitty people, I'm going to call them out. They shouldn't be judged just based on who they love. <laughs> that's the, that's the I issue mean, here. I mean, denouncing people who say that they are Christians and do not do what Christ said to do. 
I think you are in all your right to denounce and criticize them. And I think I am in the same boat in regards of that. But, but when you say, because they are doing this and that, the Bible is also wrong. Why the Bible doesn't say to do certain things which they do, then I, we have a disagreement here. Well, I mean, uh, that's a fundamental, uh, the, again, the issue is the Bible. The issue has been the Bible this entire conversation. Every, right. I, I said <laughs> and I say it again. The, the golden rule and the most foremost and most important command of Christ is to love God with all your heart and to love your oh neighbor my as yourself. God, when you get off that, the golden rule was around long before the. And loving God died. has nothing to do with the golden rule. It's it's do, do unto others as you would do unto yourself, and I think that that's actually very self righteous and that's, very greedy. That's what Christ proclaimed us the golden rule, and if that why that why are, why are you going to dictate? Christ, why do you get to de so so do unto others as you would have them do unto you? Why do I get to dictate what other people do? Honestly, like it's it's a, yeah. I I spoke about this that's before. Not what, I think. That's not what Christ is saying. He is saying with you. We have spoken about this. Others. We we spoke about this. Me and you. Well, Christ doesn't say that uh, others should dictate what we should do. Christ is saying that we should love other people and love God. That's the first and foremost command. That's not the and golden rule, though, like to love other people and to love God. That's not the golden rule. It is? No, the, no, go it's not. the golden, golden rule. No. To others as you would have done to you. Yeah, what if I'm a masochist? So, if you, of course, you love yourself. And so I think that if you love wait, yourself. But what like, then, wait a minute, what if I like to self flagellate? Is that how I should treat others? Well, I mean, you can go and read in the Testament what the fruits of the spirits are, which are uh, to love others, to be righteous, uh, to be okay, patient, not, to treat others about, well. Oh, we're talking about the golden rule right now. You said that the key thing is do unto others as you would have them do unto yourself. Correct. What if somebody is a masochist and likes to be whipped? Well, that's that's uh, that's an exep exemption, of course. That's not normal. Oh, okay. All right. So, just a reminder, guys. We got 13 minutes. We've got to close this down around 2:30 because I do have very important stuff to do um, regarding, uh, you know, getting through the rest of this month without losing everything. So, I've got to make some phone calls um, and find out if I'm going to get my stimulus immediately. So, I've got to do that. So, we got like 13, 12 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I just I, I have a I have a, a massive problem with um, with the assumption that uh, gay is a thing that can be cured, and that um, you know once people convert to Christianity, they are no longer gay because Christ has cured them or God has cured them. That's so that's so not the case. It's not even funny. I and agree I, with you, Marty. I agree with you. That's what we are seeing. And I said before, here in Brazil, there is a church which tries to cure gays, and their rate of success is very low. Oh my so the rate, the rate of success is zero. There's well, zero rate of success. You, we, we've had people here know. trying to do it too. That, I mean, that, you, you just made my fucking point for me. You have a church trying to cure gays. That's a the problem, Otangelo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rachel, I'm not saying that I agree with them. I'm not saying that. I'm just no. You don't have to agree out. with them, but there's a church trying to cure gays. You just said it. It's just like back yeah. in the day, yeah. it's like back in the day, they tried to cure left-handedness and make. Well, yeah. Yeah. Again, yeah. the fact that I am mentioning that doesn't mean that I agree with them with their methods or whatever. But I also know, and I have presence of. People which were gay, they were raised in Christian uh, uh, families, and they were raped by neighbors, and they became gay. Oh and I, that what? Came, no. wait, rape no. causes gay now, apparently. No, 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 oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. That's not why what may why people are homo are homo or I'll, I'll just say LGBT because I'm bisexual and I was raised by two straight parents. Well, so, and in this case, it was the reason he said he himself said that was the reason why I became gay. If that mm. is true, no, or not, he's wrong. That, no, that, he's wrong. That's, mm. If that's true or not, I don't know. But he said that was the reason that he became gay. No, he no, then, no, he then became you. that he he then. Uh, uh, started to to prostitute himself as a woman, and his father, as a pastor, accepted him 
the way he was. He kept loving him despite of being who he was. And his father died, and then he converted. Don't you understand how fucked up that 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 sentence yeah. you just said is? He didn't. Oh, this this, is, who he was. this is this is this is really bad. Was, <laughs> this is bordering on creepy. Yeah, this is really yeah. bad. What no, I am it's not saying no, what okay. what he told us. I'm just saying what he told us. All right, so so and no, you, then, no, you, what you, what you did here was you just you just you 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 and I, I, yeah, Leo, you you are next. You 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 outlined the whole fucking problem. Uh, like so, this this dude who was raised a Christian, um, you know, he was accepted, but he knew because he had this Christian thing that what he was doing was wrong. He was accepted, but he knew it all along. He always had that shame there. He always had that guilt. He always had that God telling him he was wrong. He knew that from a very young age, Otangelo. And then he came to the conclusion that because he was raped, that that's what did it. And you're going to sit yeah, here he and, and glorify. I mean, like, like this is some example to, to be upheld. And no, this, is, this is, an, is an example of somebody that was abused, has some mental uh, issues that probably he needs to go talk to somebody about. And it, it, this isn't something like some, some come to Jesus moment for gay people. This is, this is a blatant, blatant, uh, case of indoctrination here and, and this is yeah, like like, like when becca that. cook talks about about it he, well, becca cook clearly that. talks about the shame and you well, even you mentioned that. that you you just mentioned that you are you're just making accusations now without even know the case and the guy well we don't have to know the case you literally cannot a get homosexuality from anything or b get rid of it you're you're looking at homosexuality as if it's almost and i don't mean that you're saying this that you think it's a disease but you're looking at it as if it's this disease that people can catch and that there are ways to cure it homosexuality is as much of a disease or should be viewed as a disease the way that black people is so no, I, I, and I specified that. I said I'm not put, saying that you're saying that it is a disease, but you're treating it like it's something like a disease that can be caught no, and gotten rid of. No, I've never yeah, said that. Yeah, that's literally so what you're, you're saying. Just, but, but you you're literally just did. You said that a guy got raped and then he caught homosexuality. That's literally what you said. That's that, what he that doesn't said happen. To, that is that's physically what he said to us. Impossible. I've just and he's lying. That is physically impossible. An anecdotal conversation with one person. Wow, this this took a really deep turn right when we have to end it, and I can't... Uh, I well, can't really just combat it like quick, I should. Me, yeah, and well, here just real quick. See what Otangelo. It reminds me of uh, well, even before I went to prison, you know, and I worked at a bar, a pretty rough bar, and there was people that had been in prison, and they always talked about how they weren't gay, but they were jailhouse gay, and I would always tell them, "No, dude, you're gay." Okay, like, like, like. Here's the thing: the absence of pussy doesn't make a heterosexual crave a man's ass, okay? You're either gay or you're not right. gay. And there were people that went to prison that would say, well, yeah, I'm only gay when I'm on the inside because what am I supposed to do, you know, go without anything? It's like, well, yeah. That's all, I mean, a Buddha warrior. Yeah, I mean, if you're heterosexual, that's what you would do. You know, you got your fist, and then you wait till you get out, and you get some pussy. I mean, but, but there was this, you know, contingent of people that have been in prison that say, that being gay in prison is like uh, you get a pass on that and and you get a pass on that in life because if you're gay there's nothing wrong with that but for them to say that the only reason they engaged in gay activities is because they were in prison is ridiculous <laughs> they but, but, engaged in gay activities because they were gay or how is it logical for a heterosexual couple to conceive a, a baby and it being born gay. How is that possible? And I'm asking Artangelo. Oh, I'm like, what? I was like, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. know. I'm not, I am not the psychologist to give you that answer. Well, what I'm telling you is, is the vast majority of gay people are born to heterosexuals. Now, how do you explain that? In fact, all gay people are. Literally all gay people. There you go. Oh, oh. Of course. <laughs> Well, to me, it is a mystery, honestly. But um, these are uh, the what? questions which I have no answer. Why is someone gay and why well, are other people straight? I don't know. It has to do with genetics in the environment. And we've demonstrated that. 
No. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm trying to hold this shit right now. We're going to go around the room here my last oh. word because Knox got to get out of here. And we'll oh. we'll, uh, we'll let the Christians have the la their last word first. So, Tangelo, what, what's your final word? Okay, my final word is that Christ said that we should love other people, and that includes gays. That doesn't mean that we have to agree with their sexual orientation. But gays are not going to hell because they are gays in specific. We as a human race all are not um, in, at the level of holiness which God requires from all of us. And what saves us is when we surrender to Christ's love and what he did on the cross, uh, for us, he died on the cross for our sins, and who surrenders to him can find eternal life, can go to his, can come in and become an adopted child of God. And who he, as gay, comes to God, God will deal uh, in the right way with each of these persons. All right. So, um, um, real quick, real quick, John, real quick, John, because uh, I, I never did get a, a an answer. Um, so, like Otangelo, so. If, if somebody's Christian their whole life, they they live the Christian way, whatever your perception of the Christian way is, but they're gay and they acted on being gay their entire life, but they lived as a Christian. They believed in Jesus Christ and all of that. And, and they did the things that they were supposed to do outside of acting on being gay. Do they go to hell? Does God put them in hell? According, rage, according rage, to your I worldview. Not, rage, I am not Christ. I'm not the Jewish. I know there is not only homosexuality, which is a problem. There is also people which are drug yeah, addicts. You're a which coward, right, right, right. Yeah. That's not answering the question because you want to you want to sit here and say so that I everybody's a sinner. You want to so, say everybody's so, a sinner. He'll throw everybody in hell. But the one of the ways, the, the only way to get to heaven, what? What, you cannot, according to your worldview, you cannot have homosexual sex. Correct. You cannot get to heaven if you are actively having homosexual you're sex. You're banging boys in the butt, and you're a boy. <laughs> so, right. let me, let, so let me clarify that. It's, 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 again, it's having can your I, cake can and not... Can, uh, can, I, can I clarify that, Ray? <laughs> sure, have that cake. Uh, the fact that I, I, I surrender to Christ and become a Christian and change family, as a spiritual family, and become an adopted uh, ch child of God doesn't mean that automatically I am stopping to sin. I am continuing to do wrong. Oh things. my God. So when I <laughs> so nobody's I do, going to heaven. Well what I am saying is this we should show that our uh, conversion What's the point of it if you can't get there? If I cannot finish <laughs> then I cannot explain. Go okay. ahead, man. Go hey, ahead. Marty's got out. Hold on, out, Tangelo. Marty's got to head out. Look. Yeah, I got. I got to go to work real quick. Um, my final word. Um, uh, it's okay to be gay. Uh, oh, Tangelo, I don't think you're a homophobe. I just think maybe your little uh, your information is a little uh, skewed. And uh, go to Marty's Nerd Wars. Like and subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, thank you, Marty. Bye. All right. Yeah. So I, you know. Um, interesting I conversation. I will, I will get, just a uh, word to rage. I will give you an example. I don't know if Smokey will go to heaven. You know well, what I mean? According to the Bible, he will. Well, I don't, you know what I mean? I mean, the Bible, he gives us clear orientation that if we hate our brother or other people, then we, we cannot say that we love God. So, um, if we if we then then we have now. the orientation how we should yeah, yeah, sorry. Artangelo, that Artangelo, that we should love Artangelo. other people. Is, now, is of God, course, that doesn't Artangelo. mean that I will. Can I finish, please? That doesn't no, mean no, that I will the always go on and on. Yeah, yeah, we got we got to we got to wrap it up. Yeah, is Darth Dawkins up. going to? Yeah, him? I'm sorry. Like, I just wanted to get like to see if you would answer the question. Uh, and he won't. Yeah, he won't. and you're not going to. He's so, um, but, uh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, uh, Sydney. Well, I was just, uh, I was going to just say, is Darth Dawkins going to go to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, is, there's no way. To, uh, uh, I'm asking uh, Angelo yeah, cause, cause, so because good, he's a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. This, don't ask, this, don't ask I don't know. I am not Christ. Oh, I see. Child. Okay. The fuck okay, then I, I, my, my final words are, I'm a humanist. I'm an atheist. Gay people are sometimes assholes. Everybody are sometimes assholes. There's, there's different uh, 
there's different types of people all all through all through na all through the uh, different cultures, but uh, all Christians are delusional. Every single one of them. Well. I don't know about that. Mm, Go ahead. That, that, that's that. my final statement. I uh, almost, uh, I don't know. Yeah, today I'm feeling feisty, so <laughs> if I disagree. I mean, the thing is, it's, it's, you can um, you can have an illogical or unreasonable belief, but not be unreasonable and illogical about everything. Well, all Christians are delusional. Talking. Prove me wrong. <laughs> well, it's, I don't think it's the same thing as saying like mental illness. It's just it's a delusion. I mean, to think that this dude came back from the life. I mean, if we just got to call it like it is, I, I, I whole, don't disagree. The whole concept, the whole concept from the I can't disagree. To end is dumb. I mean, we just saw it to here today. I'll save my final words. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, I won't spoil. I mean, my final I, words. I mean if, if you're saying that that Christians are delusional on the fact that there is a God in existence, then yeah, I can agree with that. But that doesn't and make them delusional. I also think they're delusional on their... Life. Oh, yeah. John, I, John, I also think they're delusional on their dogma. There's the resurrection, ridiculous. I mean, the... Yeah, that's all part of the same thing, you know. That, exactly. All this crap that yeah. they try and, 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 and uh, feed us that this is what this Jesus Christ myth is all you know they're yeah. in reality this is what really happened and yeah, it, it. It, yeah it doesn't mean they're delusional with everything else but i mean sometimes yeah. that delusion does come into say, effect I, I yeah. never said that with yeah, I said yeah. Christians. sometimes I said Christians. but it does like rub I mean, off on other shit sometimes and that that's the problem is this they they just can't keep it there they it rubs off on everything else and that's the goddamn problem best way to put it is that <laughs> not that christians are delusional but that christianity is a delusion because it is a belief or an impression that is oh. firmly maintained despite being contradicted by what it's generally accepted as reality accept irrational. As well, I, like but, I like that too but, yeah <laughs> christians people who accept it the weak-minded who accept it become delusional yeah yeah and just mm -hmm. sorry good to interrupt you sydney but we, we got to get out of here and leo do you have anything coming up on your channel you want folks to know? um no not not that i can think of unfortunately i'm limited as to the content that i can make because i don't have a tablet so i can't do a lot of my science education videos which really pisses me off so yeah. uh Leo, uh, do me a knock a favor and uh, find somebody that you want to debate on something and come to our channel. I, I can try. I don't like really go out looking for debates. I just kind of take them if they come. And if the well, person's I'm just saying, if somebody, and next time someone challenges you, give us the opportunity to host it. Yeah, well, and, and yeah. I'm I'm gonna be like uh, trying to seek him out, um, and you know uh, the, the the problem is usually not atheist interlocutors, but Christian interlocutors. Th those are the hard ones to find. I mean, so if we find a Christian that wants to debate on a certain topic, can we run it by you, and maybe you'll take it up? Sure. All right. I don't generally do debates on Bible stuff, so don't ask. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Well, a I, bet I would I would I would peg you for more like science kind of like like you know. Science deniers like having you debate someone who's the science denier or something like that. Um, okay, so my final word is that um, I think that what happened during the stream is that Knock felt better as it went along, and I felt worse, and <laughs> and and then I became the raging atheist there for a short time. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we uh, this uh, coming next Monday. Uh, we're going to have an episode of the Apostate Alliance. It'll be me, Faye, and Nock. Uh, we're going to be presenting the lost episode number 13 that never got played in order. Uh, and we had, we'll, we'll be, you know, presenting uh, the answers to questions Faye asked uh, this ex-Muslim. And we will also be talking about how we, all of us, the three of us almost became superstitious during trying to, uh, to record episode 13 we were you know making jokes about how i guess 13 is unlucky because we couldn't seem to make anything work but uh, but at least throw it over to knock and let him get his final words in yeah this was a very interesting conversation that i never even really got to like uh my ideas moving forward so we'll do another stream with that um how quickly it can devolve once you stop cherry coating shit and, and just 
start talking just blatant truth. Um, I think today is another perfect example, you know, um, that as reasonable as these Christians can seem sometimes, and you, we've had some reasonable conversations with Otangelo. We've had, I probably got the mic like way up in my mouth. We've had um, some dumpster fires with Otangelo. Um, but we saw that, that, that blatant hypocrisy there. And we saw time and time again throughout this entire stream how the Bible becomes a major serious issue um, because the Bible says certain things. And unfortunately, people put stock in those things. And if we're going to sit here and be in opposition of that, then we have to truly be in opposition. And, and, and we can't sugarcoat it anymore. I think that it's um, it's far far past the time to to focus on atheist and and what being an atheist is and saying it's okay to be an atheist. It's 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 we are the ones that are right about this. You know, they'll they'll portray us as the evil ones, as the crazy ones, but we're not the ones placing our stock in an imaginary God that was written about 2000 years ago. They are. And we have to start treating it as such. And that's my parting words. And as much as we have fun with Otangelo, you get, you get to the hard stuff. You get to, you get past the script and the science, you get to the hard stuff, the real questions that matter today in society and you get the same shit. And that's a problem. So real, real quick. Uh, <laughs> But but yeah, I mean, and that's that's just it. Is like, Otangelo has come in here many times, and he's usually even when he's you know spewing his nonsense, he's reasonable and he will attempt to answer questions. But today, uh, I think he sidestepped it. Leo was down there like doing the, you know, dancing around the question. Around, around the question. Yeah, he was dancing when Otangelo was talking because that's all Otangelo was doing. Hey. Just real quick to address something in chat before we do get out of here. Uh, the Maverick says unnatural sex is using the digestive channel. Well, then why did God put man's G spot up their ass, dude? <laughs> Wait, blo I can't get blowjobs. Well, that's yeah, I know like, life without a blowjob. I know, that's... I know the answer to that. <laughs> oh, go, go ahead. That doesn't sound like life. <laughs> God no. does not exist. Yes. Ah, yes, Boom. Yes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get out of here. Um, fun conversation. I, uh, you know, I, I forgot to click the dumpster fire button a lot, but we clicked that dumpster fire button a lot. Um, come back. We're, we're going to do this more like these. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to focus on individuals anymore. I want to focus on Christianity. I want to focus on Christianity and on atheism and New Patreon slides are going to be done. So I'm not even going to close with that. We're just going to close it out. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Oh, yeah, I was I was going to forget. Godless Granny was going to kill me. Tonight, I, I believe it's 7 p.m. Eastern. I'll be on Godless Granny's channel. Um, Godless Engineer will be there. We're going to be talking some politics. And I might even, like, stream mm -hmm. right before we go live just to do a reminder and shoot a link and get you guys over there. So that sh that'll be fun. So with that being said, y'all have a good day.